45 seconds. Thirty seconds. The show will start in fifteen seconds, and this is your last audible warning. Show. That might be the precedent of all new clients. Would be like, listen, don't talk good. Just you know, whatever, ribbis. And we're showing people you can win. Yeah, mybookie.com promo code Bubba. When I come back, we're going to talk about. There's this article that Anna sent me about the healthiness or life longevity of the president. A life expectancy. I can tell you right now. You can find his life expectancy on mybookie.com. Yeah. <laughs> You're listening, you listening to the Bum of the Love Sponge Show. <laughs> Broadcast rights for the Bubba the Love Sponge Show have been granted to this station by the Bubba Radio Network and is intended solely for the enjoyment of our listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this production without the express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is prohibited. <laughs> Anna's only a molly pill from blowing up right now. Hell yeah. Not too bad. Lummy, is that yours? Is it? It's not too bad. Thank you. Uh, hello. And welcome. Thursday, July 13th, 2023. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Heard live, originating from Tampa, Florida, ladies and gentlemen. We don't be try. We try not to be too Tampa specific, but it's you know it's tough not to be city specific as to where you live. I mean, I hear Shapiro talk about. Doesn't he live in L.A.? No, he lives down in uh, Florida. South Florida. I'm so, I'm sorry. He was Didn't in he... Nashville for a second. Okay, he wasn't he? Ever, was he ever in L.A.? Yeah, during yeah, the he's pandemic. from L.A. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Bob and Tom talk about Andy. You know, uh-huh. you know, Howard talks about well, multiple places, Manhattan. Uh, the Hamptons and uh, West Palm Beach. So, if you're going to be a content provider, chances are you're going to speak about the city that you live in because that's where some of you, uh, most of your life experiences. Uh, and when you have a life, you know, based show, like you know, let me if if you're just a sports guy. Well, even sports guys tend to even talk about the city that they live in because they kind of root for that. They usually kind of root for that team. Yeah, I mean, if you look at uh, you know guys, Pat, yeah, Pat McAfee lives. You know, he's he lives in, in Indy, and, yeah. he, and he's always he's always making indie references. Yep. that's the biggest misnomer is the fact that like these consultants would come in and be like, you know, hey, oh, you know, you know, you know, when I was in Hartford, and well, you know, when I was syndicated terrestrially. Now, uh, when when we were on Sirius XM, they never cared; they could care less. Right. But you know, you get these over analytic FM. Uh, you know, uh, consultants, you know, I was, I actually happened to be, I was, I'm, I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but I never had to do any of that. Once I had established myself in like in, in 13 or 14 different markets based out of Tampa with like a 24 share men, 25, 54, I'm probably a little bit of an embellishment, but probably I think, I think, I, I think at one time men 25, 54, when I was in the bone, maybe 98 rock, I had a 20 share. You know, so when you and I was indicated like, God, let me think just right off the top of my head at my largest uh, Tampa, Fort Myers, Orlando, 
Miami, West Palm Beach, Jacksonville, um, Macon, um, Richmond, Dayton, Toledo, Cincinnati, Louisville, San Diego, St. Louis, St. Louis, uh, Atlanta <clears throat> at one time. And so these consultants would come in and like do these sit down sessions with these with, with the radio personalities and you know go over air checks and you know give critique them and stuff and I'd be like Pfft. they wouldn't even they wouldn't even schedule one with me cuz my boss my you know Brad Harden my program director would say like the corporate guy would come in and he's like listen Bubba's stop like you're not going to schedule anything with Bubba he didn't have, he's he's fine He's doing great. And, and, and then they'd listen to the show and be like, God, he does a lot of really un- un- unconventional stuff. You know, he <clears throat> doesn't say the call letters enough. He doesn't promote and tease enough. He doesn't do, you know, sometimes. And then when I was doing nights, uh, Lummy, and I was syndicated at night, you know, sometimes I'd open up that, you know, with the, with the P caper. <laughs> dee, dee, dee. Lummy, I know you got the master control over there. Can you find the poppy double soppy op uh, caper? That was world famous. If you grew up in Tampa, Florida, you and you and and you listened to me on the Power Pig. This was like my main, my main music bed that I would use. And some, you know, like it's it's unheard of for a music radio station to play just a straight instrumental song. But you know, like, let's say the the song ends, and then you just hear a straight instrumental song. For two minutes with no identification, you know, no, like, you know, no, 93.3 FLZ, Bubba the Love Sponge, and then let, and then let the music establish maybe for a little bit and then get on and say, I would just hit the music and then people would just be riveted. When's he going to come on? And sometimes I'd make it a rib. So I like, you know what? I'm going to literally just sit here and eat this cheeseburger for two minutes. I wish you would have turned <clears throat> the mic on. And well, I mean, the ASMR of- back in the nineties. <laughs> Some people like that stuff. <clears throat> and then and then I would hit, then I'd come back, you know. Then I'd come on and be like, yow, 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 yow. Homie with the big baloney. Bubble the love sponge and the power pick. Don't even think about trying to call up and complain because my dad owns a radio station. You can't do anything about it. I'm untouchable. Like, I would literally tell them, I'm untouchable. I'm You're over un- 18 years old. <clears throat> I'm unfireable. Give us a call and make your way down to the studio, 4002 West Gandhi. If you uh, happen to be like one minute over 18, come on down here and peel off your panties. Well, preferably come come 4002 Gandhi, yes, of, of course. But drive on down here, have your panties affixed to your antenna. This is when cars had antennas. We'll give you a so, coupon for Love Sponge Limos. Yeah, so don't even, don't even come into the parking lot as a girl that's 19 with your panties any, anywhere else than your antenna. So then come to the front door, and if you're hot and you want to hang out and the little slow on-air party, and Anna, I didn't even do drugs back then. Like, I didn't even do drugs. As opposed to now. Like, I mean, I wasn't high. I wasn't not. I mean, like, I was just straight natural, shot out. And, I mean, I can only imagine if I did drugs back then how much more cooler it would have been. If only... Let me, did you find a pee caper? So I can't find it. I mean, I found it in the PM system, but we have to have it in the AM system. Right. So I'm, I'm with. All right. Andy. Well, just you guys work on it and when we get it, we get it. No All big right. deal. It's not like, a, oh, wow, we need it right now. Bubba needs to play it. I referenced it. And when we get it, we'll, uh, I'll play it. Okay. Yeah. He's switching it over right now. And what I'm saying is like, you know, don't, don't flip out. Okay. Thank you. So listen, um, I, uh, I'm starting, uh, Macho, are you getting my pictures? <laughs> are you getting my pictures? Okay. Oh, well, by the way, we talked yes, about that. Yes, fantastic. Oh, no, what now? I, I, Lummy, you completely talked over Macho. Right. I, I actually asked Macho a question, and then Lummy, as soon as Macho came in with his very um, soft spoken, for a guy that's so hard and so jacked, what he has mean? such a I don't he, understand. He has such a you know, soft, soothing voice. So I asked him a question, and then and then Lummy, you know what? Give yourself a, a minus for that, well, Lummy, you, well, because you because you stepped right all over him. I thought he was on the other computer, not by his mic. And this, I, I knew where he was. I had him potted up, ready to go. Okay, didn't I? Yes. I now, just see, had had I said something to him, he did not answer. Then that would have been appropriate fundamentally for you to step in and say, "I think he's on the other mic." But he wasn't on the other mic. Now was he? He was ready to go for the answer, was he not? Yes. Well, I mean, part of me being the host here is teaching you the craft, buddy. 
Sorry. I- you may look at it as I'm disciplining you, but at the end of the day, Anna, as Anna just sits there lifeless, look at her. Just lifeless. I'm listening <laughs> intensely. Slouch down. You just you have bad body language right now. Straighten up. Straighten up. Get in there and get ready for this bitch. <sighs> See you guys, I don't, I don't want you guys to ever take what I'm saying in a constructive, mean way. I want you guys to realize that I've been doing this so long that I know what it takes. I'm trying to make you better. Like, Anna, I all, damn near got you your own show on this one situation. So, I mean, Anna, I mean, now don't tell me what I want to hear, but have you learned some stuff from me? Like, have you learned how to have you learned how to work? Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, that was like, probably the biggest lesson I learned in the beginning. Like, and, you'd say something wrong and I would try to correct you. Right, like, but that's like, how dumb I was. But but learning how to work <laughs> is such a vague term. Well, I didn't know what work or shoot or I had to learn a whole new language right. working here, Bubba. Well, you have to learn a now whole I new. Now I can't stop. Now you got you got. Now I can't stop. Now you now you you, you got to learn a whole new mindset. It's a mindset. You, know, you it's got a, a mindset. It's it's a work. It's a shoot. It's a whole psychological it's, state. Yeah, it's it's lying sometimes for entertainment purposes. It's pulling a gimmick. It's mm-hmm. a rib. It's a shoe. Turn up the heat. It's a work. It's a reverse end around. It's a blue jay. I don't even know what that is, but yes. It's a, like let me knows what a blue jay is. It's you know it's it's a two hundred. Mm-hmm. It's a K five. Yep. You know all that. Mm-hmm. Stop being a mark. Right. You know all that stuff. Yep. Back over to Macho Man before R- Lummy so rudely interrupted him. Lummy. I'm sorry, Macho. You know better than that, buddy. Yes. Just fundamentally, buddy. Did you give yourself a minus? Yes, I did. Okay. Where are we on 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 the scores? And by the way, um, we have I got two hundred and seventy two just in the very early stages uh, of Facebook. But yeah, I'm sorry, and YouTube, uh, our show visually distributed every morning, Monday through Friday. The the morning show we call it is distributed visually through YouTube uh, and Rumble, both at thebubarmy.com. Now I like to tend to be I'm kind of a I'm kind of a dirty YouTuber. And um, it says, and by the way, today's headlines is Beth Stern stun, stunning and new sun, swimsuit photos. I'm going to, what we're doing as on The Daily Show is we're trying to pick a p- particular topic that I'm going to talk about today at one time or another. And we headline it that with that. That's kind of like Lummy and uh, Rhett have been talking to some of the analytics guys on how to get better distribution and recommendations. See, guys, guys, what you don't understand is you just can't do a good show anymore. It, there's gimmicks. You got an algorithm you gotta, gimmick. Like, hook people. Yeah, like Anna, you just can't do a real good show anymore. Bubba the Love Sponge, Thursday, July thirteenth, a damn good show. You got to have some kind of algorithm, some kind of something, you know, you just do. It's just so gimmicky. Well, yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Because you could do a great show, but it, it doesn't really count if no one's really, if no right, one's right, watching If you didn't you. have the right headline, you didn't have the right yeah. hashtag, you didn't have the right yippee-yo, you didn't have the- You have the, to seduce the people to want to click on you and, and then, listen to you, and then once they do, then you're good. Right, and then, you know, within that world, man, God forbid that you played something that, you know, somebody owned eight seconds of, and then you get an, a copyright strike, and then you could possibly get a community standards willy. Right. And then, you know, if you said something about transgender or people. you say God bless, and then you lose your you right. know, entire evangelical base. Right. You say God bless, oh, and then they know, that you're, they know that you're a dirty agnostic bitch. Right. And then you're like, oh, my God, she's making fun of my Jesus. And really, you're not. Really, it's just you're trying to be polite, but, mm-hmm. you know, just, just, just formalities at that juncture. And then they automatically polarizing hate you. And I get emails that, you know, Anna needs to be off the show show immediately right. she sucks but sure then i get, get those all the time but then i get other emails is like oh my god i love anna's dynamic and then you know like then the emails i get from lummy is you quit picking on lummy these are the emails i get okay hmm. show at the bubarmy.com which by the way if you have pictures if you have pictures of like you and like your dog and its new bubble army harness or maybe you and your straw hat or maybe like a bumper st- maybe you're driving down the road and you see a bubble army bumper sticker snap it or, you know, maybe your your old school set of Bubba Army mud flaps or maybe uh, just whatever. Uh, t- send me send me your pictures at uh, show show at the dot com because I'm starting to post the screen behind me uh, is I, I've, I'm starting to, to send pics to Macho Man, which was this original conversation before Lummy interrupted me. 
And Macho Man, are you getting these pictures that I'm sending you? Absolutely. Is that Joe Mama Johnson in the FLZ studio picture? No, that's primetime Deion Sanders. Oh, man, I feel stupid. You dumb. Oh, no. Don't. <laughs> Give him a minus five. It's, it's a grainy picture, sorry. Spon- grainy picture? Spon- Sponge. Primetime. Yeah. What's up, Dion? Me and Tony Mandridge are thinking about coming out like maybe in November for that Arizona Arizona State game, which whatever one. Sure, no, no problem. But well, maybe there is a problem now because your dumbass, lunk-headed new new uh, engineer co-host who looks like Macho Man, he thought I was Joe Mama Johnson. Man, <laughs> I'm Dion Sanders, Hall of Famer. Come on, man. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. You need to get ready here. <laughs> Macho Man be smirching the great Deion Sanders. Oh, don't do that. Jesus, it's uh, it's it, it's a warning, is what it is, Mummy. That's okay. a that's a warning right there. All right, I got down. I think we got a Venmo deal that you might have missed just a second ago. Yes, I do. My things updating real quick. You know, you always have you always have well, some we were, stupid we're, excuse. Well, I, t- I took it home yesterday because we were working on stuff. Yeah. So J- it takes a second. All right, well, get you reboot. get 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 all your stuff right. Do you want me? To, would you like me just to go ahead and shout out the Venmo? Let me just uh, so because it looks like you're very. It's very awkward for you right now. He's got 18 screens going on. Right. You know. He yes. does. He does. He. Do, I mean, he looks like he's ruling. Really does. The, he looks like he's ruling the world over there. Does he not? <laughs> I think it's Arizona Dirt Track Hoosier is what it is. I think we also. Oh, uh, yeah, that was yesterday, and then we got Damian DeStefano, ten dollars. Uh, thank you very much. Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. And 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 I and I think I think I think. What do you think? Hold on, because I know you guys all check. None of us are rich. We live all paycheck. We every one of us, including me, live paycheck to paycheck. And not only do I live paycheck to paycheck, and there's a lot of times I don't even pay myself payroll here. But I'm living paycheck to paycheck with an IRS kicker. Oof. I'm trying to get on a payment plan so I don't go to prison for real. Man, That's I got this. I, it was all good, Lummy, when I had this one IRS agent, right? Yeah. Well, then he then, then he got transferred, and I got this new IR agent, IRS agent from from New York, and she is not, you know, nearly as uh, understanding and wor- easy to work with as my old one. Is she an older woman? Or? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. And Why? she's yeah, and, and here's the thing about the IRS. So in 2018. I had an out, you know, that was at my, you know, I was at my absolute lowest. In 2018, I was at my absolute lowest. And I just got through a federal trial that drained every dollar out of me. I literally had no money. I, I lost my house. I had, to, I had to short sell my house. I had to short sell the studio. I was so behind on taxes here in the studio that I had to sign a personal loan to Paulie and, and to Mark it, it, to pay off, to pay off. You know, like, let me, in order for them to buy a building, because there was a lien on the building. Yeah, they had to pay it off. So they had to write that check. So then I had to have a deal with them. And so I finally, you know. Tristan Keene, 20 on the cash up. Me and the pla- the the place that was suing me federally came up, uh, it settled. And I was, uh, you know, whatever. And I was able to offer the IRS a payment, you know, like a, a, a one-time lump sum payment, and you know, in lieu of what I owed, and they took it, and they and we thought it was over. We thought, okay, I, we've cleared up our tooth, you know, we've cleared it, we're, we're good. And that was our, that was our, you know, mindset. That's been my mindset, you know. Now, personally, I got some tax issues, but business-wise, I thought it was good, you know? Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well... Next thing you know, the IRS has this little kicker, in case you didn't know, that, yeah, you know, they may have settled with you back in the day and told you, hello, Lisa Sacco. I remember talking to her back in the day. I was trying to blast the hell out of her. Yeah. We almost met up a few different times, but for just, for some reason, she always had some excuse. I was ready to go. I mean, they were talking like 10, 15 years ago. Uh, She's on, uh, Hmm. she's on YouTube. And so let me like so, but now the IRS has this this rule that we may have settled with you back in the day, and you may have thought everything's cool, but it, within the next ten year, they give a ten year window. If in ten years you start doing better and making a little bit more money, we have the right now to go back and collect the balance of the deal that we gave you. Tristan Keen, ten on the cash shop. So, so I'm like. What? 
Oh. I, I, and so we go through, we're sitting down with this agent, like, listen, here's our notes from um, the uh, uh, October 2018 meeting with, uh, you know, uh, this one man and this one woman who are super high up. And, 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 and they're like, and the woman's like, yeah, I recognize that meeting. I see that meeting. But don't, don't you realize on a 1956265 uh, for U.S. code 10 9 or 4 6 9 6 are that we have the right that if we see that you're doing better and making more money that we have the right now to go back and collect that. I'm like, what? What? So you can never, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, and, and and then they start using terms like this. You want to hear this? You want to, you want to get scared fast? You want to yeah. get really scared fast? Yeah. Um, terms like uh, freeze your bank accounts. Oh no. And, um, levy liens on your equipment. I don't like the sound of in that your, at all. In, uh, at your business. Yeah, what? And then you get, you know, you just can't be talking to the IRS with your standard accountant. You got to hire an IRS attorney. You know, ones that specifically deal with the IRS. And so then, let me, let me you got to lay down a, you know, I just, I just laid down a 10K retainer. Actually, I got, I got a total of six, a sixteen thousand dollar retainer. Like I'm freaking. I'm literally, let me. You know what I am? I'm underwater, and I at least I have a. I'm snorkeling. I'm snorkeling. I'm able to breathe. I'm okay. I stay out here for a while, but then let me remember, like when you would snorkel, then your friend would come over behind, uh, beside yep. you, and put his thumb on your snorkel. Yeah, and you'd and, freak out, and you couldn't get any uh, any water. Yep. Well, nobody's thumbed me yet, but I'm getting ready. Instead of blowing through a snorkel, I'm getting ready to blow through a bamboo tube. Oh no! <laughs> uh, did, did your did your person say that this normally happens? Not the lady, but like no, no, no. You want you, you want to hear? Yes, my attorney. And do you know what my attorney said? What? In full disclosure, uh, said you uh, are a celeb, and I don't. I hate using this word because I don't think I am. You know, a celebrity. A celebrity to me is like you know Brad Pitt or like you know that's a celebrity. Well, there's different level of levels of celebrity. Well, anyway, he said my my guy, my tax attorney mm -hmm. says, unfortunately, you're a celebrity, and celebrities, entertainers, and athletes. They really, really love, love to make an example of. Oh. They love it. If you are an accountant or an engineer or a construction guy, they but they literally get like a gold star attaboy when they hem up a person of name value. So I got that going for me. So uh, anyway, um, send us your pictures to, to show at thebubbaarmy.com. Did we... Macho Man, did we get that one turned back on? Because I know you're we having some problems with our inner emails. I Is believe so, but I'll double check. Okay. I think the Merch Crick gets that. And she's been sending these pictures to me. And then I send them to Macho Man. And Macho Man's going to start putting them up on the screen behind me. So you may see, like, your dog uh, in its little, little cute Bubba Army harness. Or you may see a picture that you took of yourself in your Bubba Army straw hat. Or you may see a picture of a guy driving down the road with a Bubba Army bumper sticker. Or you may see a picture of me and Tizzy back when we were uh, you just won the feature, uh, you know, at at uh, at East Bay and the Victory Circle. You may see a picture of me with Stormy Daniels on the red carpet uh, at uh, at the AVN Awards. You may see a picture of you know me and Howard Stern uh, and Hulk Hogan and Richard Fabrizi uh, at my. Uh, at my wedding. Nice. But it starts and stops with you. Now, I don't want any D pics. No. I just want Bubba Army stuff, okay? Like if you drive if you're driving down a road, man, and you see a semi that's got Bubba Army mud flaps, responsibly try to take a picture without putting your car in the drink, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, Macho Man, what's the process of like you getting is that a, is it tough for you to add those to my screen? Is that a tough? Is that tough? No, I'm looking at templates right now, and we're gonna see what I can find and make it look cool. And we'll I have, mean, but like as I get new ones, would it be? Is it e what, once you get your system down, would it be easy just to infuse those? Oh, sure. Right. Cool. And could we also maybe infuse those into that TV in front of the uh, little desk uh, on the on the on the stage? Absolutely. Okay. Perfect. 
That'd be kind of cool. And 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 by the way, uh, picture. Let me like you. You guys all have my email, of course. If you have some pictures, send them to me. Don't send them to Macho Man because I'll determine as to whether I want to put them up or not. But like, if you have a little picture of Walker or something, or Anna, if you got a little picture of you doing something cute, or Macho, let's say you got a picture of you. I got some trap pics. And you got like a, you know, yeah. you got you got three fifteen, and you're doing sets of a hundred on the military presses behind the necks, like you know, and Rhett, like maybe you got a picture of you and the little wiener dog, you know, out there wiener dog in it. <laughs> so is throw it some Rhett, wiener is, up there. Yeah, th- well, yeah, throw your dogs. No, yeah, yeah sure. Check out my ween. <clears throat> So ask on, me about my wiener. So <laughs> today at five o'clock, I have and, and and Rhett. I mean, I've have people been clamoring for. I mean, the food review used to do five. I mean, it would do five six thousand views, right? I mean, it's the franchise for a reason. Yeah, and so you and so you need you know. I I told you yesterday that if I get to slipping. On stuff, are, are, do you feel uncomfortable with yes. what with what I asked? Just you don't even know what I asked, Anna. <laughs> Lummy, you and Rhett were there when I yes. when I said a specific thing. Yeah, are you uncomfortable with that? With 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 doing that? Because I feel you guys are. No, I mean, it, 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 I told Rhett and Lummy fifty fifty. I told Rhett and Lummy yesterday. Listen, if I start slacking on something where like I'm blowing off food reviews and I'm just not providing. Uh, additional content that moves the needle and us with us doing locals now and just having you know more places of distribution having our twitter back mm-hmm. you know if i'm not doing enough stuff and one thing that i've been a little bit lazy on is my food review and you know you guys need to prod me you guys need to step up and say listen bubba you know a little short on content from you uh can you you know can you make some stuff whether it's a burnout or whether it's a food review or whatever, and 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 I and Anna, I asked them mm-hmm. to specifically, you know, like not be my boss, but suggest to me, hey, you know, Bubba, we need some content. Why are you so negative all the time, right? No, ne- negative's <laughs> one thing, you know, like 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 Red, like pra- let's practice. Okay, let's practice. Okay, I'm walking out. I got, and you know, I hate to be bugged. Like when I have my planner, <laughs> yeah. and my iPhone, and my gun bag, or I, my Bubba tactical bag, and I'm literally done for the second show. You guys know that I am the first one out of here. Like I want out. Yep. And so that's when you'd have to approach me and probably be waiting for me in the kitchen, which is even worse. Right. It's a small area. And so, Rhett, let's let let's. You got your little wiener dog there, which mm-hmm. softens me a little bit. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's getting a little restless. Uh, hey, Bubba. Hey, I know it's been a minute. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to grab you here, but did you have any plans for a food review this week? We haven't put one up in a couple weeks, and it's Thursday today. Oh, you know what, Rhett? Uh, yeah, you're right. Yep. Let me get that done for you, buddy. Okay. See. That's how it's going to go. Yeah. But it, Rhett, what would be better would be like for you to say that to me like on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Right. Yeah. Obviously, or, same day notice is a little tough yeah, to work with. Yeah. Like, you know, at least give me a day. All right. Let me let's let's practice your pussy ass. All right. I mean, because, you know, you're, you know, physic yeah. physically a man, but inside a pussy. Yeah. Right. Hey, you, Bubba. What, Lummy? Uh, hey, um, See, sorry Lummy, to like, you. even the way Lummy approaches me. Hey, Baba. Oh, yeah, Lummy. What's um, going on? How's Walker doing? Oh, How's your wife's big jugs? Great, great. My God, they're succulent. huge. Yes, thank you. Yes. They're still producing lots of calcium? Of course, yes. Right. Yes. It makes, it makes the body good. Okay. Um, what? Uh, uh, if, if you're not too busy this weekend, um, do, you, do you mind? Maybe we're, we're behind on the burnouts. Maybe doing one if you got a time. Chance, yeah, see, and I like yes. I like that you giving me a specific task. So, like, you know, if you know, if you know, like, rather than just say some content, like, if you got a, you know, the burnout. Yes. Oh, you know what, Lummy, you're right. I I do have one extra tire, but then after I burn that off, you're I'm not you're gonna have to take it to a uh, uh, SOS Automotive Rick and get another one. You know, I ha- used to have four four nice tires there, and he got, he got they got ripped off. Yeah, so yeah. he owes me four. Yeah. What a, what a dick, yeah. Uh, so, I'll, but I'll yeah, I'll get, I'll get that. I'll get that for you. Thank you, Bubba. Thank okay, you. I'm sorry. Let me get the door for you. Yeah. Can you, uh, you know, maybe give me a full back r- massage, please? I'll carry you to your car. We carry- 
<laughs> Let me, I don't think you could carry me. I probably could. I, I think he could. I'd be I'd be hurting, but I, I'd I be, do not. No, Let me. I do not think you could carry me. Piggyback style. Oh, piggyback style. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, I just do piggyback. I, I, I don't think you could flop me. A, like I could flop on. A, all of us could flop on a, over our shoulders and and take her. You know, fireman style. You know, like you're taking. Even if somebody, I was kicking and screaming. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And like, let me, I know that you and me and could probably take Rhett fireman style. Yes. And a macho man could probably take all of us except me macho style. You know, I, I don't know. Macho man be able, might be able to take all of us, but I don't think anybody could take me fire, fireman style. I don't think. Only after or you. I hit the elbow drop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or, or you. I don't think anybody could take you. You're heavier than me, I think. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a little I'm, I'm longer I'm too, too. I'm too, like seventy five, and you're what three ten? Uh, two ninety five, right? Probably, yeah, right. But that weight is I'm I'm long, so and you got a big barrel chest. Yeah, you do. Who me or yeah? No, you. you. Does that make it harder? In some ways, yeah. Yeah, to like reach around. So, Macho Man, the the pictures I've been sending you. Boom! You're just gonna like. What would you say that? What would you say the time frame would be when we can start seeing some of my personal pictures in like maybe a week? No, I'm hoping. I'm hoping today. It just depends how long the file is going to render. Oh, okay. So it's all about file rendering. Yes. So anyway, if you got a picture that potentially shows you displaying Bubba Army or you know your wife's in a back in the day, let me remember we had Bubba Army bikinis. Oh yeah. Back in the day we did, but I don't think we could do that in, in today's world. Oh yeah, right on our background. Mm. No, not not necessarily because it would be a copyright deal. Just because I just don't think women are into bikinis like they used to be. Oh, Some did are. you see? The, did you see those ones we saw yesterday with the duct tape? Yeah, but Bubba Army. Like I don't know that Bubba Army women necessarily want to wear Bubba Army bikinis. Oh, you but know, men want to see uh, you know old pictures of women in Bubba Army bikinis. Oh. And women, too. Oh, so, yeah, I guess we can go. I do have some pictures of yeah. women in Bubba Army bikinis. So maybe I'll put those up, too. And sure. then they'll save the Diaco shirt ones. I mean, listen, yeah, I'm, going through my, I'm going through my photo file. Uh -oh. and, uh, and, and yeah, it, it could be an O if I would send the wrong thing. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's your template for the uh, bikinis. All right, I, I got a pre-roll here. Hold on here. Boom. Let me put this over here. Bam. Hey, it's us. What you Now, well, what are you sending me here, buddy? What am I supposed to be looking at? A template for the bikinis? Oh, hold on. I don't think he was sending it over. I think he was just saying he's got one. Oh, he's got one. Yeah, ready to go whenever oh. we start putting that stuff together. The bikinis. Yeah, so behind me, man, you're going to start seeing a lot of great pictures. And some of them could be submitted from you. Uh, again, show at the Bub Army. It's at, uh, at .com. Better, far better than this standard 1972 Fastback Mustang with some kind of satellite. Oh, come on. No, I mean, I, I mean, I know. I, I don't get mad at me much. I know you just went to some standard graphic package, you know. The barbells and, are cool and, and, so and, and the barbells are, are cool. Those are the coolest things. But we're going to make them cooler, and we're going to make them about us. People watch the show just to see if they, man, man my dog, my dog with the Bubba Army uh, harness, uh, or, you know, me outside working with my straw hat, it was on Bubba's show today. Was watching Bubba and they flash up behind him. Just another brilliant way to market, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. I'm so good at it. You are. You're the best. I can't help it. Uh, today at five o'clock, it returns. It's sponsored by on. Oh, Anna, I took a couple swipes. I took a couple swipes at you on the video yesterday. You did. Yeah, like, like swipes. Oh no! Like hacks. Is it because you didn't invite her to the food review? No, I <laughs> just I I just said I probably said maybe should cut him out. Talk, did you talk bad about my dad? Oh no! no, no, no. <laughs> I, oh, of course not. Oh. In fact, saying that your father sponsors said event is what got me thinking about you. So oh, as I was I think saying, I know what it was about because I was asking a lot of questions so I, yesterday. Oh yeah, exactly. And you're like this nosy bitch. So I'm like, uh, really uh, here was. we are. Wendy's, we're trying to bake an uh, and all of us, of course, sponsored by Philip uh, JPT one two three Philip and Knight uh, Hummel. I love him. Sorry, I've let you down, Philip, but uh, here we are. We're back. But you know what? I gotta tell you something, Philip. Your daughter is irritating, starting to irritate me. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Maybe can you have a word with her because she's just so 
nosy. Like I tell her something and she's like, but how much? And like, I feel like she's just pro- like a private eye around here. I said, all, I said all of that on camera. Maybe I should, I think I should leave it in. I think he's good. Leave it in. He agrees with you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they used to play this in my church group when what? I was a kid. Yeah. The pee caper? Well, no, they would play Bubba's show, and there was times that they would turn on the radio, and this is all you heard. You never heard Bubba talking. Well, what was your church group playing Bubba's show? Oh, my so God. The bad, the bad, how bad Bubba was. Oh, for real? Yeah. They would be like, listen, we're going to give you a show that is so bad and so sponsored by Satan yes. that you guys need to. And all, and all it would do is make you kids want to make me listen to me more. Yeah, like, I mean, I was getting, I was it. getting, or I was getting. Um, I was getting invaluable. You can't even pay for marketing when you got church groups that have their youth night uh, and the and they're playing my show as an example of Satan. They just yeah. wanted to listen to the show. It was a warning. <laughs> it was a warning on you know how bad like, you were. If you ever hear this, switch it immediately because you're going to be hearing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the homie with the big baloney laying twelve and a half, and I ain't lying. Yeah, they would have a. They had a little boombox set up. Got some little this. freak in here. What's your name? My name's Rhonda. Rhonda, how old are you? Twenty. You got any panties on? You know today is no panties Thursday. No, I don't. Well, if you don't really, then see that microphone? Take it and rub it against your uh, chichia. Well, it's nice. Guido, why don't you play a long record while uh, Rhonda takes me out back and gives me a lube oil filter? Okay, Bubba, no problem. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear about 15, 16 minutes of, uh, you know, you know, power pig music, and I'll be back. Anna, I worked on a top, I was a, it was an urban-leaning top 40, mm-hmm. and I had a 930 ACDC segment where I could play anything I wanted from ACDC, and then I had a 1015 Beastie Boys album cut segment. Where I could play anything from Brass the Brass Monkey. Yeah. No, but I would do like other you know, the you know, real mm-hmm. album cuts. But like I'd break format, literally be hearing hearing like, you know, Backstreet Boys, nine twenty five, and then be like, Yo, yo, nine thirty. Radio station really has some decent music, but not necessarily the stuff that I like. I know there's some real men out there. There's a bunch of little teeny boppers out there too listening to this nonsense. You need to turn your show Turn the radio off immediately. Q105's got some real pussy-ass kid music for it. That dial position's 94.7. Uh, Go over there, and right now, let me give you a few minutes. All oh, you little kids, little fetuses. Now, for all you adults that have hung around, uh, let me tell you what I got going on for you. So then it was just whatever. Yeah, you can see I really listen to my church group too. I I listen to you and now I work for you. Mm-hmm. That backfired. Wow, for them. that yeah, did. That was not good for them at all. Was no, it, it not? was not. Uh, hello, I got to go into words. I got they're ta- they're they're messing with DeSantis. They're messing with DeSantis. Says I'm not going to be a number two guy. Somebody suggested that he be uh, you know run with Trump, and he's like uh uh-uh. uh. And then Megyn Kelly stuck up for uh, DeSantis' wife a little bit. Says that I'm people, obsessed with her. People, who, Megyn Kelly? Well, I love Megyn Kelly. Don't get me wrong, but I love Casey DeSantis. And I'm so are, impressed by her. They are hating on her bad. They're killing her. I got the Megyn Kelly spin on that. And then I, and then my, my good friend Howard Stern's wife, Beth, uh, is on the cover of some magazine. She's 50. And I got to tell you, she is beautiful. I've met her several times in real life. She's beautiful, and you know what makes her even more beautiful is she's absolutely one of the nicest people I've ever met. Yeah, she's like sweetie. money, money and fame never changed her. I think she actually keeps Howard grounded. I really do. Hello, are you there? Oh, you hung up. Perfect. That's great because I need to go into words. Uh, so back with all that next. Stand by. Why bother with broadcasting excellence when you can have broadcasting decadence instead? (laughs) The Bubba the Love Sponge Show.
You kidding me? What's going on? Uh, we're, we, uh, we might have a possible burn. Ah. We'll record real quick. Bless you. Ah. Bless you. Excuse me. I didn't hear a word you said because this big nose fucking bitch Sorry. completely over brown. So what? Oh, we're going to go record a burnout. Where? Someone's here. Semi out of Oh, go, 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 go. Hey, hey. Yeah. Tell him I need some more flat billed hats. Okay. Here's some free food stuff. We need to start doing that. What are you talking about? There's like free food deals because there's always like National Friday, National Donut Day. So it's like a good time to get in there and. Where? I just sent you a article of all the places that are offering free stuff today and this weekend. It's National Friday. It's French fries. God, you love free shit, don't you? Who doesn't love free shit? It just I don't like better. free shit that's tic tacky. Tic tacky. You gotta get in there and celebrate. Okay, National Free French Friday gets free food ordeals at McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's. When is this? Today. And possibly this weekend. All right, so I'm gonna read this article here. Depending on the place. Yeah. Or are they going to have a fucking article? Okay, here we go. I mean, yeah. you don't have to play the video. I don't know if that's going gonna... right, to... We'll see here. Hold I on. didn't watch it. But... Burger King. We need the app for all these things. Del Taco. Can you even have Del Taco here? Do do do. <sighs> A Bubba phone case? I think too that's many. Too hard. You can't. Too many. There's too many options. Mm -hmm. We gotta buy sizes. Yeah, I gotta buy fucking you know ten fucking iPhone. And then, fucking. Yeah, and then there's a new phone every year, and it's like. Blah. Yeah, fuck that. I did it one year, and I fucking regretted it. You're like, fuck that. Just take the sticker, and put it on the fucking phone. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. I got you, Boo Bear. I got you, Boo Bear. My name is... Dang it. Why are you Is that Dan? When your name is good. Special delivery. Yeah, 
that's a reason. Oh, and some shirts. He said he, he gave one for me, but what, we'll whatever, whatever one you want. Well, let me see here. I think there's two. The gray is about 2X, but... Or 3X, sorry. Is everything 3X? It should be. Check to see what that one is. All right. Yes, it is. All right, give me that blue one. Okay. And then you have this gray one. Thank you. And a koozie. Hey, we are koozies, too. Koozies. Koozie. Fuck yeah. Okay, I don't want this hat. Who anybody want a semi auto glass hat? I don't like I don't do fitted. No, I do fitted. But I don't do um I'm I'm good, thank do you. Do you do you want do you want a hat? Do you wear hats? No, I don't, I don't think he has my size. But I appreciate it. <laughs> no, the yeah, these are just extra large. Yeah. I have a two X. I'm a fat. Maybe I'll give this other one to the crit. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm taking all the hats. I got my pants, too. All day, every day. I'm an FT. Full tractor effect. You're my savior. I listen to it in the morning and the night. It keeps me awake all night driving that big rig down the road. Bubba the Love Spun. We love you, brother. The Bubba the Love Spun Show. As you're driving that big rig down the road, chances are that you may not even be listening to our program live, that instead you are a member of Bubba Army Radio, uh, and you pay the, I don't know, I think we're raising the price to $9.99, but we got so many other great features that are coming. We're getting ready to relaunch BubbaArmyRadio.com. Uh, we're looking like maybe an October launch date. <clears throat> It'll look different. It'll navigate differently. I think, Lemmy, we're getting ready to put, like, sections, like, all Hogan phone calls. Yes. Wrestlers, celebrity section, you know, a Tucker Carlson section, and and all of that. It's different stunts, different. It just make it easier to navigate through. So you truckers, man, and, and I think, I think, Macho Man, that we're actually increasing, for those, for those that subscribe, increasing the quality and bit rate. Are we not? Correct. Yeah, so it'll sound better as well. And I'm assuming may download faster. I got to think that the new way we're doing it's going to probably make it download faster. Yeah. Uh, so BubbaArmyRadio.com for all you. Uh, there's a lot of people who do not catch the show live as it's happening. 6A to 10A live Eastern based out of Tampa, Florida. And then a one hour, eh, a 35 minute to one hour after show uncensored a little bit looser that we distribute uh, through all different types of places from Facebook to uh, YouTube uh, to uh, on Tuesdays, Twitch uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to run. No, we don't do anything on Rumble for after shows now, do we? No, we do not. Mm -hmm. uh, Lummy, how is Travis? By the way, I don't know who I, these are my favorite hats. And I, yeah, I had two of them, Lummy, and I wore them at the track and got them all sweaty and so I don't have, they're not nice anymore. And so I asked Travis from Semi Auto Glass that if he had some more, ha I saw him at the, first of all, let me just backtrack. About a year ago or so, I got these notepads that I use I use a lot of. Yeah, and I got more I got more of them back here too. Yeah. They were on the bottom of everything. There was this listener, this great Bubba Army guy that I think's based uh, somewhere out of Tampa. Yeah, over in the Ebor area. Okay. And he is, it's, yeah, there we go. We all have semi-auto glass uh, pamphlets. So we write our notes and like, you know, things like that. Ideas and things like that. I, I have a bunch of them. Most of my notes I write on semi-auto glass notepads. So about a year or so ago, we get a care package of all these notepads and like three or four of these hats. Because I was saying like, hey, if you got a hat uh, or a shirt First of all, I wear 3X, and I prefer black. I got my Larry Bird shirt on today. You see that? It looks good. Yeah. But send me, uh, if you want me to wear your, and I also like those shop shirts, too. I've only gotten two of those. Uh, one from, I think, SOS Tire Rick, and the other one, I think, from Nick the Gun Guy or something. But, oh, no. Uh, Solo 4 2018s sent us in some. And I think, I, did I wear one? Yes, you did. Okay. Well, I got a whole big. 
closet full of all these shirts that I have a rotation on that I wear on the air. So if you've ever want me to wear one of your shirts on the air, it has to be 3X, please. And maybe the thicker cotton material I prefer as well. Because I have such aggressive nipples. <laughs> Anna has denoted that. My nipples are probably some of the most aggressive nipples they she's really ever are. seen. Always hard. Like, you know, she would quit or leave the job and they would say, hey, what do you, what do you, what do you not necessarily miss most about Bubba, but what, what is it about Bubba? She First, his nipples. Oh my God. I don't know if they're to die for, but my God, they were very aggressive. They sure were. He wow. never really touched me inappropriately. <laughs> he never, he wasn't, he didn't sexually harass me. He was a gentleman for the most part, but his nipples were, were, were quite aggressive. I was harassed but not in a sexual way and not and and not by any means that bubba could control right like if i walk up to you and my nipples are out i can't help that yes you know i don't go there and 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 tweak them up before i come see you no you don't have a tweaker so that's why you always see me probably with an undershirt on because i'm trying to take you know put another layer uh against my nipples to stop the aggressiveness yeah doesn't really help they cut right through both shirts Uh, hello Hey, Bubba, how you doing? Good. Who's this? This is Patrick up in Vermont. Hi, Patrick. Hey, uh, by, by, by what means do you listen, Patrick, in Vermont? Through your app. Uh, the Bubba How's, Army app. How's the flooding doing? Yes, sir. How's the flooding? Did you get flooded? Are you all right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, my, my Peterbilt likes to go through it. Right. Nice. I bet it does. Anyway, so what do you got for me, Patrick, out of Vermont? Hey, just had a couple questions for you. With your new relaunch of the app... Are you going to make it so that you got like a um, watch app, like a Apple Watch app? Maybe over to Macho Man. Hmm. Macho Man, is it going to be so? Are we going to make it so that? That's that's what I was discussing with you on the text the other day about having CarPlay and all that featured. We need to have an actual real app. Yeah, yeah, we need an app listing for sure. Yeah. So yes, we will. If we need it, we're getting it. Awesome. Yeah. So hey, we'll, have a, we'll have a real app. That, that coincides with BubbaArmyRadio.com. Right now, the app does not jive at all with BubbaArmyRadio.com. It's just a, basically a way to listen to the show, a shortcut. But Bubba, the all-new BubbaArmy.com, will, the app that we produce with it, will go, they'll be hand-in-hand. Hand. Fantastic. One other question I had for you. I um, talked to you a while ago, and I had asked if you guys had a promo code through Horn Blasters. I, I, I think, and if we don't, we, we should. Anna, maybe you could get this air check and get it over to Matt sure. and tell him that we actually had a phone call today from a guy that wanted to know if we had a Bubba, a Bubba promo code on Horn Blasters. If, uh, let me, if you could cut this for Anna, he, she could get it over I'll to Matt. To Matt, yep. And wait, before you buy anything at Horn Blasters, give me a, a couple days to get a hold of Matt, and I, I bet you I will. That would be great. The Duramax needs one. All right, all right. So you know, nice. give me a little bit to get a hold of Matt to get a just a straight, real simple, no, you know, no case sensitive Bubba promo code on Horn Blasters. Well, thank you very much. Right. <laughs> thank you, buddy. How did I not see that coming? Bye. Me neither. Scared me. Anyway, so a couple years ago, I got this dude named Travis, and he owns this place called Semi Auto Glass. And I think they specifically, their specialty is to replace windshields in semis. Mm. But he also, I think, let me can do passenger cars and trucks and things like that. It's just like, you know, you like he did my smart car. I don't know if he likes doing, I, can I get a clarification from you, Travis, like, or do you only like to do semi business, or do you like to do passenger and cars and trucks too? Because I'll start promoting the hell out of your business. I, I could be I could be wrong, but his car that he was in looked like it was wrapped. I'd guess he probably did it himself. What do you mean? He does wrap car wraps too. May, maybe you said he did the smart car. No, no, he, no, no, no. He replaced the windshield. No, the windshield. Okay. Was, uh, let, me, let me. Oh, sorry. Get, just. You know, you know what yeah, to do. Yeah, I'll take it. Yep, 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 yep. Being highly misinformed on the yeah. program that you're part of. Yes. Jesus. I'm just, I'm editing and sorry. Yeah, you're just dumb. <laughs> who's, who, who, whose broad idea was to incorporate him on the show? My Lord. Uh, D- Dan, Dr. Dan's. No, I think I did. Yeah. I know Dan's my biggest fan. <laughs> um. So anyway, uh, get a hold of Travis Lummy and ask him, does he want us to start promoting the fact that I don't think that he does car wraps. But I think that he might do auto glass for not just semis, for anything. And I think in Florida, 
man, if you just have regular low ball, the lowest insurance known to man, that your windshield's free. It's a Florida law. It's a Florida law with no deductible. Like, I think that's like Florida encourages people not to have crack, cracked windshields. And some states different. Your wind, the windshield w- rules different. Where like it costs you a hundred bucks or something like that. Well, I think in Florida, man, if you have even if you have like the general insurance, you know, like some real cut rate insurance, Lummy. Yeah. I think that they have to replace your auto glass for free. I believe you are correct. And he just got back. He says no, they don't do wraps. Uh, But they do all types of uh, auto glass, some cars, trucks, uh, semis. They'll do your windshield, your back glass, your door glass, and your automatic window repair. uh, Semi-auto. Now, let me, is it semiautoglass.com? Yes, it is. So semiautoglass.com, man. And how far, let me, do they travel? Like, you know, like what would be the, I know he's based out of Ebor, but like, are they mobile or do you got to come to them? They are mobile. I will uh, find out how far. Like what his radius is. Yep. And then I'm just going to say, man, if you live like in Hudson or you live like in, you know, Brandon or you live like in, you know, over, uh, you know, Clearwater, Lutz, like Lummy or Wesley Chapel and you need, you know, don't call those, don't call those stupid auto glass places that are going to give you a box of steaks. Yeah. Or the guys that are at the gas station. Yeah. Yeah. Just go to, call Travis up. He's Big Bubba Army and he does, you know what? Janie Cakes just had her windshield and her Cadillac chipped. So I'll have Travis do it. He said about an hour from Tampa. So just use Tampa so, for an hour outside Yeah, of if Tampa. you're an hour. So like, let's say probably north would be, you know, probably like Hernando. Yeah, and and edge, south yeah. would be probably like Sarasota over to Lakeland. You know, like that. Like from, I would say from Lakeland, Lakeland uh, east, uh, Hernando, north, Sarasota, South, and then, of course, all of Pinellas. Uh, FT, Greg, and Amy, Hall of Famers, 25 on the Cash App. Our <laughs> they want to buy a horn blaster for their Escalade. Oh, yeah. So, boy, again, another let me, another another horn blaster mention. Put that together. Anna, can you tell Matt we had two horn blaster mentions uh, within the can. first 56 minutes of the program? Yeah, absolutely. So, Travis from from, uh, from Semi-Auto Glass... Let me, he, I think he's got, I think he might be a BARP, he might be a BARP qualifier, I think, I don't know. Nice. And, and he was at the, yeah, he was at the and Tarpons I, And I actually met him for the first time at the Tarpons game, and I said, listen, I need some more flat, your flat build, you know, um, flex fit hats, because I like wearing them during my food review, specifically. Specifically during my food review, I like wearing semi auto glass hats. So he sent me a whole rack of them. What a stud. And then he sent me a, a couple of 3X shirts. But the only bad thing about it, Lummy, it's kind of skin guy, skinny guy. Friendly. It's thin. It's a thin It's a thin material. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not, you know, necessarily. The, right. You know, I'm not like the sports wick, wick, wickering real thin. I don't know how good I'd look. I mean, Anna, can you imagine? My nipples would own that material. Yeah. It cut through the material. I mean, it takes mm-hmm. it takes two T-shirts, 100% <laughs> cotton to keep my nipples quelled. Well, my nipples would just, oh my more God. Quelled. Yeah, just they, to keep them. They're still whispering. Just to keep them, just to keep my nipples. At bay. You know, somewhat publicly acceptable. Right. I have to keep them, you know, two layers of 100% cotton. I don't know if dry fit Willie with oh, just Jesus. one layer, my Lord. <laughs> Maybe I should take for a picture sure. of that. Oh, yeah, for the, yeah. For me? For you. I'd like that. Rub the bean. Hello. Yep. Bubba. Yeah. Hey, with all the buzz from the movie Sound of Freedom, you should try to get on a guy named Sam Childers. He's known as the machine gun preacher. All right, what's he? Is he is he in the movie? No, he used to go to the he goes to the Sudan and rescues children. Oh, really? They made a movie. They Sudan. made a movie about him. Oh yeah, the movie came out a while ago too, didn't it? Uh, you know yeah. what? Let me let, let, let me let me let me get the let me watch the movie. And is he doing? Yeah. Inter- I mean, does he do interviews? Have you seen him? Does he participate in podcasting and things like that? He travels around and does a lot of stuff. All right. On his Facebook, so. All right, so yeah. we'll have Anna and Lummy, uh, you know, maybe track him down. Yep. And Butler, he did a book, it? and there's a movie that Gerald Butler. Gerard Butler. I think that's yeah. how you say his name. Gerard. Did. Yeah. Based on him. Right. So. 
I would I would check into them. I guess <laughs> I, I I will and th- and thank you for the heads Cincinnati. up. Where you li- where are you listening to us from? Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Ohio. By what means? I um I listen to you from the Bubba Army app, Rumble, used to be Twitch, um, Sirius. Back in the day, <laughs> this guy knows what's up. Yeah, you're you're all around, man. You're a long time Bubba I, Army man. Appreciate that, buddy. And we I hey, we got a bro- We got and you live you live where Cincinnati. I grew up in I grew up in Gibsonton. Oh, oh nice. Y- oh, Carney Town. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Back when it was really a Carney town and there was a lot of shady stuff happening. Gibsonton's way toned down now, but man, back in the yeah. 80s, man, it was literally a Carney town, was it not? Yes. Yeah. So Cincinnati was a step up from that. Oh, Cincinnati's like New York, Manhattan oh, compared no. to Yeah, Cincinnati is literally like Manhattan to to Gibsonton, Florida. Yeah. Uh, hey man, yeah. thank you. Don't forget uh, bubbaarmymerch.com. I got a bunch of brand new stuff coming up there including I just put another order in of a hundred hundred of the tactical bags. So uh, you know for Christmas. All right, All right. bud. Yep. Yep. Thanks. All right. So anyway, uh, Travis from Semi Auto Glass came by this morning, dropped off some hats. I'm going to start wearing them during my food review. Unfortunately, I didn't have one yesterday when I did my food review that de- debuts today at five o'clock on our YouTube channel, and I, I did a drive-through food review of the Wendy's Baconator, wow. and I got to tell you, I got it I got it 100% with the way it came, Lummy, except for no mayonnaise. Okay. So, I mean, that's right. That's good. No mm-hmm. mayonnaise. And it doesn't come with pickles or mustard, nope. I'm assuming? Mm-mm, it doesn't. It comes with uh, bacon, cheese, two patties, <laughs> six strips. They, they call it six strips of bacon, two big patties, big old hunk of cheese. Uh, when you say patties, what what animals that derive from? Uh, Usually beef, a, beef, a cow. Yeah, okay. Beef patties, and then uh, I had them. I had them add ketchup, Lummy, and I got to tell you, pretty damn strong. And they use Heinz ketchup the, too. The ba- the ba- I bring my own too. But <laughs> but the the baconator, little a little bit on the expensive side. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm sorry. But, did you tell tell us what bread it was? No, I don't necessarily know what bread it is. I didn't is. know if it was like a, like a, not a biscuit, but. No, it's like a standard hamburger. I bun. sent you, I sent oh, you okay, their, okay. their website, Bubba. Let me, you're going to have to send it. I don't know if it was like Texas again, toast every, kind of thing. Everything. Doesn't every, come up. Well, it does, but it, it, it just. It, I, it's quick on the disappear. Yeah, maybe, maybe Macho Man can, Ooh. can, can maybe change the duration so it stays up longer. The, look at the, a half pound of fresh. British beef, American cheese, five piece. I guess it's five. Five pieces of apple, applewood smoked bacon, Heinz ketchup, and Heinz mayo. Yum. Oh, it it nutritious is, and delicious. It is strong. Do you have fries. I did get the combo meal, and I had them bake. You can now listen to this with Wendy's. You can baconator your fries. Like turn them into chili cheese fries or yeah, something. Yeah, they, yeah. Like, well, it's well, it's bacon and but cheese. I mean, yeah. Okay. So you can. She's like, "Would you like your fries baconated?" And of course, the merch <laughs> crick almost came out of her skin. <laughs> she squirted. She's like, <laughs> "Yeah." I mean, like, she literally like, she, she literally covered the entire windshield with squirt mm. because her can favorite. You see the like because, camera jostle because you can <laughs> because her. I mean, the merch crick's favorite food in the world. Favorite food in the world. And she only eats three things. Fav- favorite food in the world is cheese fries. Like, that's her favorite food in the world. Like, if you go to Burn Steakhouse, Lummy, and you'd want... No. No. Like, I want some cheese fries, some biscuits, and uh, bread. That's about all she eats. And olives. Hmm. Odd. So anyway, listen. S- Travis from semi Gla- By the way, the Baconator. Oh, I would say... I would, even before my review comes out today at five o'clock yeah. on our YouTube channel, uh, I, if you, if you are a, you know, regular Bubba Army guy and you were thinking about eating out today for lunch, fast food, Willie, like a lot of you do, might want to try that Baconator pretty damn strong. Anyway, Travis from uh, semi Autoglass swung on by, dropped off some swag. Thank you, Travis. I love you. A- and I got to get a hold That's of so you. Sweet. I got to get a hold of you from my mom, her Cadillac. Uh, needs a new windshield, and she was just going to call one of these, you know. I'm like, let me check with my buddy Travis to see if they do it. 
Um, and, and, and if they do, I'll just, you know, I'd much rather him, much rather send somebody to my mom's house and put a new windshield in her Cadillac that I know than I don't know. Cause she's 77 and, pe- and listen, I can see people take advantage of old people. Like, let me, there was this landscaper guy that was going to do some, some work for my mom. Oh. And my mom's 77 now and she didn't have Jeff there anymore. Jeff was, you know, 65, a little, I wouldn't say a little more mentally sharp, but kept, a, you know, knew if a contractor was trying to flim flam him or not because he's a man. You know, like, Anna, your situation, your guy would be able to to, uh, to understand if he had a guy come over to the house, you know, to put some, uh, you know, a new garage door up, mm-hmm. and he told you it was, uh, you know, 4400 bucks, but your man was like, bitch, that, I, I know for a fact that they're about 1850 Right. You just would have gone, yeah, 44 that's great. No, you would have actually researched it 14 ways oh, in one yeah, day. On. But, but anyway, I'm just saying, you know, when you're elderly and you're a woman and your man's not around anymore, contractors that you have over to the house to do various things, fix her AC, trim her bushes, you know, Lummy, a lot of times she gets taken advantage of. And I don't, and I don't want to send some auto glass company that I don't know to my mom's house, you know, uh, and, and, and do where I can get a guy that's a, that's a friend that I know will do her right. How how was his burnout? It was pretty good. What what did he what did he have to burn out in? Uh, Apollo. It was a Malibu. Oh Malibu. Oh okay. Sound yeah. like I had an LS in it. Malibu LS. Yeah, he had he he did two of them. Two yeah, burnouts. I'm gonna lay I'm gonna lay some down because we're our you know our our burnout patch, our show promoted burnout patch. Not a lot of businesses want you to do burnouts in front of their business because it makes their business look kind of a little white trashy, you know. They want you to pull into their, like, you know, Anna, if you owned, like, uh, I'm trying to think of something you would own. If you own Anna's, you know, um, clothes boutique. Okay. You wouldn't, and it was like, you know, kind of bougie. You wouldn't want, you know, guys doing burnouts in front of your. Probably not. It's probably and, not good for So business. that when people are pulling into your parking lot, they see it looks like an NHRA drag strip. Right. You know, they're like, what is going on here? We encourage it. And it seems like the HVAC guys across the street don't really. I don't think they're open to the public, Lummy. I think they're wholesalers. Yeah. Right? Am mm-hmm. I right? Yeah, you're right. So they don't. They don't have. You know, the only people that go to their building are people that work there. So I don't think. I don't think. I really don't think anybody in this industrial area is really open to the public. Mm-hmm. Right. You, you know, Brinks isn't open to the public. No. AAA isn't open to the public. No. We're not open to the public. I guess bake more pie, bake more pies. Our next door neighbors might be a little bit. I mean, they're shoot. They shoot things from people, but it's not like you know, it's not a walk. There's no walk up storefronts in this area on this on this street. No. So having a cool ass NHRA burnout strip pff, just makes us that much cooler. Please. Um, let me. Uh, so I'm on time, Lummy. I'm trying to like now. Has has me, Lummy, being a little bit more on time made your world a little easier? Oh yes. Rhett, does it does it streamline things a little better when, when we're doing these hunks instead of long, long hunks and then small hunks? Oh yeah, absolutely. Right, and especially what we're getting ready to do on BAR, it, it'll make it better uh, as well. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Um, Anna is just ate up with. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow supposedly is National Free Food Day. Uh, free food day. Is it, no, free it's Friday. Friday, I guess is today. No, it, it says National French Friday. Get free. Okay, get free food or deals at McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy. And Anna is obsessed with deals. Literally, well, you can course. have a, if you Where had if you had uh, uh, if Anna was, went to like you know Cannabis Con or one of her little. Food and wine deal, one of the various little things that she uses my name to get in free for. And she went to one of these places and they had this free booth and it said free polished rocks. Bitch would be in line to get one because it, 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 did, it, it didn't, it didn't cost kidding. nothing. Absolutely. If it's free, free bag of cured poop. Maybe not that. That might be good for composting. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, anyway, anything that's free is for her and give her three. Uh, let me go into hmm. words. Lummy, we're going to get into, is it is it tomorrow, Lummy? I mean, Anna? Nas- uh, National French Friday. Depends on the place, because obviously people want to make it Friday. 
get it on Friday. But I think it's technically today. But deals, some deals are today, some deals are tomorrow, some deals are through the weekend. So, so well, I guess we'll navigate through the freeness next. Sure. Sure. He's calling shenanigans on the D. The Bubba the Love Spun Show returns after these words. It's just fun to get free stuff. I don't understand why everyone thinks that this is so foreign to them. Do you know Reese Witherspoon's real name is Laura? That makes me sad. Mm. Morning, Felix the cat. Okay. Of course. Hope I see you. Morning, Trickus is me. Yeah, or uh, Reese or Janine or something. Morning, gargoyle. Work is bad. 
What was the first letter? Took me to Ashley. Can't you see? Sometimes your biceps overwhelm me. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Can't you see? Let me, did you get any feedback from your motherfucking Hit Mix 3? Yes, I have. Got submitted one here from Carlos. Just working on it. And then uh, both of them should have, uh, all three of them should have something by the end of this week or early uh, next Did you week. let it be known what kind of their magic number was? Oh, oh, it is. It is. I'm here for the sponge. Mate, it's all about mate. It's got to be Bubba. I laugh <laughs> so hard. Bubba Love Sponge. Ow! The Bubba the Love Sponge Show. A uh, Bubba 199 that's going to be somewhat very special in the fact that, one, it's tomorrow night at 8 p.m., Bubba 199. It will be Lummy's birthday. Uh, Maria Guatemala, who may or may not be here, uh, is making a specialty cake. And do I need to say it anymore? Nope. When you say, I mean, even Anna being a, an established, you know, Baker. Oh, I it's mean, like, man, that is like it's not comparable yeah, to what like, she's please. doing. Like, please. Like, she'd be like a black belt and you'd be like a white belt when it comes to uh, baking. With two stripes, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, she's lummy b- built, uh, baking you a theme cake, which would be great. It's yeah, also going to be the first time of hopefully a, a lot of times that we now have, you know, we're finding our way as we're making a little adjustments as to how we distribute the program. And we're putting Bubba 199 on Rumble. And then the one little added value that we're doing is that then afterwards, that will go as a downloadable thing on our Rumble Locals page. So if you go to our Rumble page, rumble.com forward slash the Bubba Army, there's an opportunity for you to, there's a little red button that says support. You become a subscriber and you kind of like, it's got a 24 hour chat. I think, or we're at least working on that. No, that's 24 hour chat. It's got like, so, you know, it's, it's almost like I got a discord feel about it where you guys can get into your little subsections and talk about the show and then exclusive content and then some repurposed content. And then that's where all Bubba 199s will live. We've never, ever, ever after a Bubba 199, we just erased it and never offered it as a download. Well, we are now going to offer it as that on our Locals page. I think I got that one right. Did I not? I think <clears throat> you did. did. All right. Thank you. Rhett, was that completely like, did I explain that correctly? Yes, absolutely. Right, you're the big, lo- you and Lummy are the big locals guys. I don't know if I've been to you. Know. H- have we been getting a lot of active ac- activity on our locals page? Oh, what? hell yeah. We're, uh, I have- think we may be up and over 300 followers over there. Really? Around half of those are supporters, which is obviously great. Um, What's like, you know, now, now locals is brand new. It's brand new, is it not? Pretty much, yeah, yeah. It just like, started within the last year. Like you know, is are there people like Crowder and Bonagino and things like that that got like five, you know, five hundred thousand subscribers? Like, what's who's the big whale uh, in the local uh, arena? I, I think Russell Brand. Yeah, Russell Brand is. What's he got? Four hundred, five hundred thousand. Yeah, about that. Oh my god. Yeah, and that's just followers, which includes some of the freeloading people, but. 
Uh, one of the things that has been a big hit is the exclusive live chat that we have over there, 24-7, around the clock. You can jump in and chat. Yeah. W- whatever the yeah, hell like you want to talk about. Honor look good today. Yeah. Rat, you know, God, rat. When they going to get finally, rat, when they yeah. gonna finally get rid of rat? I mean, it's negative. Let me, if you were to give me a total, what's what's rat scorecard as we speak? <laughs> a negative speak 18. Or, uh, <laughs> minus 14. My Lord. Who is in, uh, who is in next to last place? Uh, Dr. Dan Diaco. With what, minus seven? Minus 11. Yeah. Okay. And he's only here two days, three, well, three days. Tomorrow, National French Fry Day is upon us, and this fictitious food holiday is so special, you can celebrate it over two days or more. For years, National French Fry Day was observed on July 13th, but last year, fast food chains, checkers, and rallies gathered online petition signatures asking... Uh, uh, people, for fun, unusual, and unique national days, the national day calendar to move National French Friday to the second Friday in July. That way, the day always has the word fry in it, which I think that's a pretty good, like, you know. I mean, you got to. You just can't say National French Friday is going to be on this day, and only once every seven years, it la- or six or seven years, how it lands on a Friday. Right, because I mean, doesn't every day like if let me if like today, July thirteenth, twenty twenty three, is a Thursday. I'm thinking the way the the calendar, calendar work is that next year, July thirteenth, will be a Friday. Yep. It may not because of the leap year deal, but oh, you're, usually you're it's right. Year next year it goes in. A, yeah, the twenty twenty four is a leap year. It'll be a February but, 29th. But usually, yeah, yes, be, usually it's, it's the following Saturday. day. So yeah, yeah. so week. If you're going to have, so rather than just to make it a day, you need to make it the second Friday of every July, right. regardless of what that day is. Mm-hmm. And I think they got that moved to that, which is a great idea. National Day calendar founder Mario Anderson agreed, I in good conscience cannot ignore the voice of the people who simply want to get fry, whatever. So make sure now, Anna. Wh- wh- who who are okay, where are the deals at, Anna? Where are the, wh- where instead of me walking? Do you know? You, do you know who's giving what away? Where are the Anna? We yes. should almost have a new Anna. Where are the deals? I'm glad Ooh. you asked. There's a lot of places taking part in National French Friday. The first being BK. So free fries deal for National French Friday. BK. So you can literally go through now. Most of these, I think, require you to have their app. Correct. You just can't go to the drive-thru. And Give like, me some fries, bitch. Oh, welcome to Burger King. No this, no, this is how it usually goes. Ah, uh, man, welcome to Burger King. I'm Miami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to have some of those free fries. Today is National French Friday. I heard you're free What? Man, you got to have the app to get that. You know what I'm saying? Go and get the Burger King app. Go and drop Pull out, pull out a line, get that app. Forgot it. Well, my favorite is download when their boss it, doesn't d- even Download come. the app and then uh, uh, hit hit a button and then tell me the code. What's, what's that, Rhett? <laughs> well, my favorite is when you roll up somewhere that's having a free food promotion and the employees have no idea. Right. Has that ever happened to you before? No, not really, because I don't really, you know, I'm Go not, I'm not promotions? Johnny Free. I'm not Johnny Free guy like Anna. Oh, so, Anna, right. so first of all, every place that Anna gives you, you need to have their app. So go get the following apps. So Anna, uh, Burger King offering free French fries. Yes. Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. What else? Carl's Jr. and Hardee's, which I believe are the same yeah, franchise. So Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. It says you have free to, French fries. You have to buy your French fries on Thursday in Carl's Jr. or Hardee's app or on the web. But when you do so, you will get an offer in the app rewarding you with a free small fries each day for the rest of the year with a minimum one dollar purchase. What? That's pretty strong. No, hold on, on hold on. Hold on. <gasps> Word. So like Hardee's and Carl's Jr. Mm-hmm. They're saying if you order free French fries today. On the app. Thursday, on the Carl's Jr. or Hardy's app. Mm-hmm. Then you get offered a free a free French fry every day with a with as long as you purchase something that's at least a dollar? Correct. For every day of the... Each day for the rest of the year with a minimum $1 purchase. So you could wow. go get a Coke. You could literally go get a small Coke, which is what, $1.10? I have no idea. 
Yeah, and 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 be like, don't forget to throw my free fry. Hardee's is underrated, man. Man, because I did stuff not... like that. Their food is still pretty damn good. Ham. All right, Anna, continue on. That seems like the best deal going so far. Mm-hmm. You could get a free fry with a dollar purchase um, at, at Hardee's. So you're getting something worth a buck. What's, can somebody send me Hardee's menu? Is there anything that's a dollar? I mean, I got to think maybe, the, got a dollar maybe, maybe a small Coke. Oh, yeah. A little cone. Some little cone. Salty fries. All right. So what What? What other deals? Checkers and rallies. Free fries deal through Sunday and $1 later this month. Let's read into this. Checkers and rallies will give all rewards at members a free extra large order of famous season French fries Friday through Sunday. You can get the app online in the app store, blah, 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 from July 24th to August 6th. You can also get an order of fries any size for just $1 at participating locations through the I, app. I wonder, if, uh, see, I, with regards to my Bubba's Food Review, which will be up today at 5 o'clock on our YouTube channel. By the way, we're only like, um, what are we? How many, how many are we away from 90K? We're 70. We were 72 away. 72 subscribers away from 90,000. Uh, 70 subs away from 89.1. We are 970 away from Oh, I'm 90, sorry. 000. Oh, it's no, okay. It's okay. Damn slight, it. slight mistake. Damn it. 900. I hate those zeros. Damn you. You unappreciated. I hate zeros. Like, I got 531 people watching me right now on the Bubba Army YouTube channel, and I got 111 thumbs up. That means, you know, like 430 of you. Lazy mother efforts are just taking all the content in. You know, we're 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 your guys. We're your inner. We're we're your morning cup of Joe audibly, and you're using us. You don't even have the ability to take your fat little fingers and your fat little and hit the up. I mean, if you're on your phone, you literally just hit, hit the thumb button, the thumbs up button. Yeah, Not the thumbs you up. dicks. And now I'm 900 and a, I'm trying to hit 90K. So mad. I mean, I got, I'm giving you something super exclusive like today's Bubba Baconator food review. You're not going to find that anywhere else, mm-hmm. period. So anyway, um, oh, so on, a, on my food review, I was yeah. thinking about making it maybe I do app, but I think the, I think the part of me going through the drive through and having to you know, go through the speaker and deal with all that is it's part, part of, the, of the, is part of the, you know. The, I understand the, the mystique. It's part of the review, right? It's part of the review. All right. So continuing uh, it, tomorrow being National French Fry Day, where all these places are o- offering you Hardee's and Carl's Jr. seems to have the best deal. Uh, Checkers is giving away free fries. Burger King free fries, all via the app. And then is McDonald's free fries? Yes, it I looks, believe that's the the biggest draw. It looks like on uh, Burger King. If you're on, if you do, you do sign up for their app, you get uh, free fries every week for the rest of the year. Ooh, boy, they're pushing it all to the app. Do you know why? Less manpower. Yep. Less mm-hmm. man. That's one or two people. It's one person they don't have to have. And it just goes faster. And it goes faster. Don't have to it deal makes with cash. It, it makes it more efficient. You don't have to deal with cash. You're 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 taking out the transition. You're the transaction. Meaning the paying, you're taking the paying part out, and you're taking the it's order the order process out. And I'm sure there's a couple of guys high up in corporate who get a little kickback on the app whenever oh, they no get some doubt. action from there. Probably. And so, I mean, that's that's like, hey, if you go to the app, we get your money instantaneously, and you don't have to deal with some, you know, squid that's working drive through that could potentially mess up your order. And it's just, it literally, I think, just gets, I think there's a big screen back there where the cooks are making the stuff, and it just flashes up, you know, drive through text, app order, uh, number 15969, and here it is. Make it. Bag it up and put this number on it. So tomorrow's National French Fries Day is check, ar- check around, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of good deals, but it all starts and stops with with the app. You got You got to have... The app for all of these. Yes. Now, what's McDonald's offering? McDonald's is giving away free fries of any size on Thursday through the app with no purchase necessary at participating locations. I wonder if it would actually take some time. But if you could write down all the places, if you went down like today and downloaded all these apps mm-hmm. and then you went and just did 
That'd be cool, like a side by not a side by side, but but like no, like you just you just fries. you did a you did a whole episode of going to every one of these places and getting your free stuff. Oh, I see that all the time. You're like, oh, hey, it's Bub and Lummy, uh, and Lummy, uh, which one do we have to go to first? Well, it looks like we need to go to the Burger King one first. Yep. All right. Well, let's go pull. I think you got to kind of pull. I think you got to kind of pull into the parking lot, or before you get there, work on the app, right? Because it's kind of cumbersome. Like, I don't think yeah. you can do the app while you're driving. I don't think it's responsible no. to be doing the app and ordering your food while no you're while, while, while while you're driving. No. Because it gets pretty entailed. You know, you got to go well, to the special. You got to and clicking and not yeah. looking at the road. And then maybe put your credit card all in there and all that kind of stuff. Well, that should already be in there. Tr- true. You know. But yeah. <sighs> but that sounds, like, that sounds like a lot of work to me. Now, yeah, probably. I've seen people do videos on their Taco birth- Bell anything? Del Taco. But, but not Taco Bell? Not Taco Bell and giving you a free soft shell? Uh-uh. Jack in the Box, Smash Burger, Wendy's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't have any of those, but Wendy's. Yeah, yeah Wendy's. We, so we got burger. Free fries and a free Frosty. So From we, Sunday, uh, Thursday to Sunday. We, what we have here, what we could, you know, we have Checkers, mm-hmm. which they have something, right? We have McDonald's. Yep. We got Burger King. Mm-hmm. Does Wendy's offer anything? Yes. We, we got Wendy's. <laughs> yep. We got Hardee's. Yes. Is Sonic open? Sonic in on? Is Sonic in on it? I don't see Sonic listed. They no. They are. Uh, yes. They are. Okay. You can get a medium tot or fry. Let me. Do you Hooters? have? Do you have? Do you have the entire list right there? Uh, yeah. It's the only one that I don't see. No. It. Go. Go through them, dumbass. Okay. McDonald's. Be nice. oh, hold on. Go. Go. Go through them for everybody. Because what about the guy that's driving a semi in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, right now? You know, maybe he's got a you know a Whataburger and we don't. So go through all of them if you have if if you efficiently have all of them right there. Uh, Charles Charlie's Philly Steaks is uh, offering a free fry. And again, all this is through, all this is all this it. is through their app, right? Correct. Everything right. is app. Uh, Jack in the Box, uh, Del well, Taco. No, no, no. Let me. Yes. The format goes Jack in the Box, and they're offering, and then fill in the blank. Then you go to the next one, and you go, and they're offering. So start from the top. Ready, go. And we can make this an actual segment. You know, if Rhett could really cut this up quickly, be like, hey, the ins and outs of where you need to go for a a free French Friday. Lummy breaks it down. Lummy breaks down, you know, free French Friday. A lot of people will be watching it. Taking notes, Lummy. Yes. Go ahead. Take it from the top. Um, Say hi. My name is Hi. Hi, My name is Lummy. And Uh, and And I'm breaking down. National na- uh, National French Fry Day. Please know that you need to download the app on each one of these uh, stores that I mentioned. So from on, take one, take one. Lump, oh, you you get nervous when we do special segments. Uh, just I just hope I don't. I don't. Have, I miss one that on. I was just adding with the. So I'm, well, I'm let's just have. Oh, listen to this. Let's let's have Anna there, and in case you miss one when you're done. Then Anna will chime in like the nosy bitch that she is and say, oh, by the way, Lummy missed this one, this one, and this one, and they're offering this, that, and that. So that's the format of it. Okay, buddy? Okay. All right. So, let's. and I know you get really nervous when you start putting your hands on your face, you start twiddling your beard, knowing that this is a, there's a lot riding on this because Rhett's going to make this a video, put it up on our YouTube. There's going to be millions of people that go here to see where, the, you know, what stores are offering what. This will be one-stop shopping for free French fries day. Lummy's going to give you the info. Come take one and action. Jesus God, are you kidding me? Right I mean, are you kidding me? You. I'm like this big-time Bubba Corsese on the set. I just t- I get ready to do action, and I got my I got my my assistant sound grip <laughs> nose bitch over there with with a, a five thousand horsepower big schnoz sneeze. Sorry. Jesus. Sorry, Booba. All right. This would be take two. Less the sneeze. <laughs> Lummy breaks down National French Friday. Take two. He's nervous. And action. Hello. I'm Lummy. And I'm going to break no, no, down no, free. Lummy, st- t- cut. French Friday. You're cut. talking like you have a gun pointed cut. at you. I do. Cut. <laughs> it's a megaphone. Cut. Cut. Yes, cut. Uh, yes Bubba. Lummy. We're, in the in- we're not in the insurance business. We're in the entertainment business. And you have to be enthusiastic. You know, it's not, hey, it's mommy. Eh. 
They were like, hey, it's Lummy. I just want to let you know where you can get some free French fries on National French Friday. Each one of these places, you probably should go not, uh, and download the app because that's how you do it. So here it is. I mean, did you see how I, uh, you Perfect. know, kind of turned it up a notch a little bit, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right. Take this would be take three. Take three. Lummy breaks down National French Friday. Uh, hold on here. My, 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 my megaphone. Take three. Lummy's nervous. Hey, it's uh, Lummy here. No, not your, it takes your cut. Uh, hey. You're, 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 Hi, not a car, you're not a carnival barker, okay? You're not a puker. Just a natural, enthusiastic tone, okay? Now, hey, step right up. That's right, I'll give you three of these big softballs. You throw them in the basket. If they stay in the basket and don't fall out, any prize is yours. Three for five bucks. Step right up. Let me show you how easy it is to do it. Big man, 02825 on the Venmo. Money. This would be take, I don't know if it's four or five. Four, four. Lummy yes. uh, promotes National French Friday in an over, not too overly uh, enthusiastic way. Take four, Lummy's nervous in action. Hey, Bubba Army, Lummy here, and I'm here to break down National French Friday. Most of them have an app, but I will let you know which one you need to download the app for and which one you don't need to download the app for. Currently, you can go to Checkers and Rallies. You need to download the app, and they will give to you a Extra large fry from July 14th until July 16th at all checkers. Just download the rewards app. The next one would be Wendy's. Now you need to download their app. And what they'll do is they'll give you a free fry and a small fry. Cut, cut. Who burped? My bad. <laughs> Are you effing kidding me? Oh, you this might be a bad time, but speaking of free things, uh, EDC Orlando is coming up in oh. November, oh. and Anna and I would love tickets. Okay, great. What? Like, but, uh, uh, I, that's that's great. I was rolling. That's, that's great. That's you great. dick. You, did you really just... You barely well, talked did you, to you barely, I mean, you, are so bad for you. Did you burp on, live on the air? I thought it's it was disgusting. Red. Yeah. Let me a minus one, maybe yeah. you know, no, a minus two. I was rolling for the interruption of perfection, and then just, just complete non disregard for broadcast protocol. <laughs> My lord. For a asking for free a tickets. God, a God, and then, and then, then to maybe another. The like, maybe then by another. The way. Then maybe another minus, oh which would be a minus three, a very harsh penalty for trying to get me, like, bird dog me <laughs> off my madness. Hijack the, uh, the yeah, sandwich. Try to, try to, you know, it, yeah, a, a very rare, heavy handed funny. negative three for the macho man. Maybe oh, bringing God. him back down to earth a little bit, Lummy. Yeah. All right, Lummy, so let's just listen. <laughs> this is just more work for you and Rhett, but you guys are going to, I can't pick up. Everything you said was perfect. You're just going to have to pick. This is going to be a pickup. Okay. This is going to be a pickup. Picking so, up from Wendy's. Picking it up from Wendy's. And uh, let me, Jesus, please, can, yeah. can it, for all, all of you here that, are, that, that claim to be broadcast professionals, can you not burp when a guy, <laughs> when a guy we have cough buttons that you can turn your mics off. Oh, Will you not burp when your fellow co- co-host is going through a list that him as a slow adult is nailing and action for the pickup. Now on to Wendy's. You do need their app, or you could actually go on their website and register your account. You will get a free small fry along with a free Frosty for National French Fry Day. And it's through National Ice Cream Day, which is July 16th. On to White Castle. White Castle... You don't need an app. You go on their website. You download a convenient coupon, which is redeemable for a buy one, get one free small fry at participating locations. So you'd have to check on their website for the locations that will be giving that buy one, get one free fry. Hooters, what you need to do with Hooters is you just go into Hooters, get a table, and they will give you a free curly fry, waffle fry, or tater tot with your entree purchase on all dine-in patron, patrons on July 13th. Then we got Smashburger. You do need to download their app 
and they will give you a free fry with any purchase over a dollar. McDonald's, you would need to download their app, and you receive a free fry for that day, and if you have their app, you will be gifted for a free fry on all your orders through the rest of the year just by ordering over a dollar. Sonic National Fry Day is you can choose a medium tot or french fry in your app order and no purchase is necessary. Hardee's and Carl Jr., you download their app and you will receive a free medium fry with their app. And when you do that, you also receive free fries for the rest of the year. Del Taco it's like pulling teeth. is also doing a fry day. Shut up, Macho Man. Another, another minus for I'm, an I'm going to come back to smash an, you. Hold on. Another minus for an interruption. <laughs> Jeez. Another minus for an interruption. What are you and Rhett trying to get the most minuses? Let me shut up. Sorry. Continue on. Thank you. I'm the disciplinary. I know. You're not. Del Tacos is also, if you download their app, you'll receive a free small or medium fry if you have a over a dollar purchase through Tuesday, July 19th. Jack in the Box, you get two medium fries for $2. With a with your with their app, Char- Charlie's Philly Steaks is offering a free fry with any cheesesteak purchase. DoorDash is also having a Friday discount where you receive five dollars and seventy cents off all orders over fifteen dollars with fries. National Mac and Cheese Day will be also participating in the national. Uh, French Fry Day, which will include KFC. If you have the KFC app, go on their app, and you can get a, a mac and cheese bowl that is goes through July 18th. Thank you. Oh, Burger King. I'm sorry, Burger King. As long yeah, as you do have, have the tell, app, you have to audibly say this is going to be a pickup. Pickup from right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Burger King. With their app, you can get a free regular fry daily for the rest of the year, or if you purchase anything on their menu for $3, they will give you free chicken fries on National French Fry Day. Now over Thank to you. Anna. There you go, my <laughs> friend. I mean, sorry for the burp. Sorry for the, you know, just a macho man's really running a Do little bit loose. Like a heart attack disclaimer on this? And then over to Anna. <laughs> Anna, did did um, did he miss any, Anna? Or did you? Did he seem to nail it? I I think he got it all. Wow! Woo-hoo. It's everything I Let have. Let me give yourself a plus one right now. Thank you. I think what that particular segment garnered the the, the Macho Man. How many? A negative four. A negative four. Can, what's the score yeah. as we speak? I mean, like the week. This week. No, this week. This was a full week too. We yeah. didn't have a, you know. God, that one week when we only had work two days was the greatest ever. Let me just calculate mine with Anna. And Macho, oh yeah, for this week uh, alone. This week alone. Uh, and when and, we come back, I want year to date, but just give yep. me this week. This week, uh, tied for first, Anna, plus two, Lummy, <laughs> plus two. <laughs> uh, whew, Rhett, minus four, Dr. Dan, <laughs> minus five, and... Okay, sorry. Macho Man minus four. So I have to read. I'm sorry. All right. Let me. You know what? I no, 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 Lummy. You know what? I'm sorry that you just can't keep it together. Well, for the week, I, I didn't add what yeah, no, just that, that's fine. Just let's do some words, give you a little bit of time. You're on a high wire there doing your big high spot, which you nailed, and we're so rudely interrupted. So let me give you a chance to regroup, okay. and we'll come back with the totals next. Okay, thank buddy? You. Yes, thank All you. All right. <laughs> Don't chalk up their behavior to being crazy rednecks. Yeah, think about that. They're just totally insane. <laughs> the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. It's
No, I mean, you did a very good job. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Bubba. It means a lot. You like my little son, my little protege, you know? You like my little Frankenstein? That's the one. You were somewhat, somewhat of an experiment to begin with. Yes, it was. And believe in me. Now you're, um, you know, pretty much the most popular, you know, member of the entire program. Thank you, Bubba Army fans, everybody out there. For making me the most popular, say it. For making me the most popular, and believing in Bubba. That's so amazing. Are you amazing, Lummy? You're amazing. Bob Arm is amazing. You're amazing. We got to find out from Woody what if whether that my bookie is amazing. <laughs> oh man! Like yesterday, guys. Let me. I I like that one-handed uh, blackjack, don't you? Oh yeah. Because you kind of start seeing the different cards. You're not worrying about mm -hmm. the other twenty-seven base cards in there. Mm -hmm. You know what's played? Oh yeah. I mean, realistically, if we had, you know, Macho, Otto, one of them, just keeping track of how many face cards are out there, whew, clean it up. I don't think Woody would buy. Big arm. Dutch Duke. What's up, Snare? Is it? Maybe. What's up? Dark match, Anthony Weiner. Dark match, Steve. Good morning. Let me see who's on one and two. All right. Good morning, Bubba Show. All right, hold on one second. Good morning, Bubba Show. What's up, Bubba and Billy? Page of the pool guy, two is Brian from Philly. He got on my bookie last night and won. He was winning on the blackjack too. All right, perfect. Good morning, Dark Match Steve. Um, make sure we get these air checks to um, Woody. Woody. Yep, yep. Me and me and the, Macho were talking about that. Made a huge fucking difference. Tell two we're coming to him first thing. All right. Line two, coming to you first thing. then Pedro. Sixty-one watching me visually on YouTube, and I only have two hundred and twenty-seven thumbins. So, if you could responsibly just hit that little thumb button, I don't even think that would really mess up your driving. You just hit that little thumb button. Ah. So I would really appreciate. I gotta finish editing my <clears throat> my food review.
I didn't get any fucking sleep last night. I missed any. Well, I just my my shit just didn't kick like it needed to. You eat too soon. We should just way too late. That's what I mean. I mean, I didn't, even, I didn't even go to bed till ten. Oh, ew, I'm brother. fucking, I'm fucked up, and I didn't make it to the fucking gym. <clears throat> fucked up. <laughs> On the car, listen to Bubba the Loves Sponge. Oh. Love you guys. It's gotta be Bubba. Wondering who he's gonna yell at next. Yeah. <laughs> People from all facets of life can relate to this show, and that's why I like it. I love it. I can't get enough. Bubba the Love Sponge. Exactly. <laughs> You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. By whatever means you may be listening or watching, we appreciate you. The show now uh, is funded pretty much by the People's. It's a People's show. Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, all at The Bubba Army. Or you can watch us on Rumble Live every day. Or you can watch us on YouTube Live every day. If you're on YouTube, you need to subscribe and get notifications. Those are just a couple little buttons that you hit. As we're trying to hit, you know, 90,000 by Friday. But let's be honest, Lummy, I'm not going to hit that number. I'm going to be very disappointed. Yes. Don't, don't disappoint Jesus. Me. Today at 5 o'clock, my uh, Baconator food review will be some exclusive content that you'll only find on my YouTube channel. So why in the flying f- would you not be subscribed to my YouTube channel when it's for free? That just doesn't make any sense to me. Son of a bitch. We got some exciting things happening. I'm so there's some like there's like a lot of things I can't tell you guys, um, but I got some really exciting things happening, and I'm you know with all the new merch that's coming out, and then the reskinning and the re really honest honestly, love me if I was to break it on down, I'm really excited about when we relaunch Bubba Army Radio. Yeah, me too. I'm so excited, especially with that one little kicker. I mean, everybody is going to go there. They really, really, really are. Yes, they are. Uh, today, my food review of the Baconator will be up at 5 o'clock. That's on our YouTube channel, at The Bubba Army. You won't find it anywhere else. Hello. Bubba. Yes. Brian from Philly. How you doing, bud? <laughs> Slinging uh, uh, Top Gun uh, D- D- DVDs out the back of the, the 87 Lincoln uh, a trunk. What do you got going on, That's Brian right, from buddy. Philly? And I really appreciate as much as you travel... Too. I, I like you come from, you know, getting from Philly to Tampa is a pain in the ass. So thank you for your travels. I know you no make it make it to American us. Airlines. Thanks you too. <laughs> I don't know what Brian from hey. Philly really does for a living, love me, but I got a feeling he's loaded. I feel, yeah, I feel like he does pretty well for himself. Yeah, I feel like, you know, and you know who else is loaded? Joe from the West Side. Joe from the West Side's loaded. Oh yeah. And uh uh Shizivering Nizir, he's loaded. Yep. I mean and you're, Red's kind of loaded. Yes, he Red, is. Red's got a lot of money. Don't let him and and don't let Travis fool you. Travis has got a lot of money. Oh, oh, uh, Matt Hoxie fifty on the Venmo. Matt Hoxie is trying to get that twenty four hundred in by September fifteenth. By the way, wait. By the way, the ring is designed. Nice. It is. It is officially Holy designed. Man. I don't know if I should show it to you guys or not. Because you'll pick not. it. You'll, you'll pick it apart, bitch. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Well, what are you talking about? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> so Brian from Philly, like I got a feeling you make a good living. Yeah, I, not working for a couple of years now, but I killed it for 34 years in nuclear power, actually. Yeah, there you go. So so what do you hey, got um, What do you got dude, going for me? I got on that my bookie last night. I had to check it out, and I killed it. I, I opened up with 300. I played the same blackjack game you guys that did. Sing, that single I, deck blackjack, man, yeah, has been great. good for us. Yeah, I did three hands at a time. I was, if you know when to split, no one to double down, no one to surrender. I got up to over eight hundred, so I won five hundred and like thirty dollars. Did you like did you hour. did you use the Bubba promo code? Yes, I did. And I think it gets you like it doubles your money, or like when you first it's make your like twenty five bucks or something. Yeah, or, it hooked me up, but I can't recall. Yeah, when you make your first deposit, it does something. It gives you a kicker, yeah. and it gives me credit because my bookie will be like, "Man, we're going to keep advertising with Bubba because I got we got you know crazy guys like Brian from Philly that's you know playing single handed black." That, that's me and Lummy's game, by the way. Yes, it is. And by the way, may single I just deck. may I just say that you know gambling can can turn to into an addictive lifestyle, and so if you are addicted. Uh, please dial one eight one eight eight eight. Admit it, 
uh, and get some help for your gambling addiction. <clears throat> Not everybody is as pimp as me and Brian and can be up 300 on, on single hand Willie. But so you never had you'd never navigated or seen or heard of my bookie. You listened to the show. You signed up with the Bubba right, promo code. Correct. But you, did you see all the like any game, any racing event, uh, any prop bet? I mean, uh, and when the presidential election comes down, they'll have like, you know, who's going to win what race? It's it's they got they got everything at my bookie. And it's very user friendly. I had no issue getting on there and figuring it out within you know two minutes. Yeah. It's super. Like I've gone to other sites by major casinos, and they're just they're crazy. real cumbersome. You know. Crazy. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, Brian, man, right, p- appreciate you. And uh, when's the next Hi, time I'm going to see you? I rent. Have a great weekend of tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, What's up, Brian? Are you going to Are you going to be at 199 tomorrow? I may fly in. We'll see. I got some things going on, but I can always jump on a on a flight if I can make it. Uh, well, uh, just let us know if if yeah. we're going to put you down because, of course, you're always invited. I know, sir. Thanks, right. guys. Appreciate it. Uh, Pedro, the pool guy. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Bubba? I got I got two things for you, and then I'm out. Um, the windshield deal. If you have comp, it's paid for free, Willie. If you don't have comp, you're SOL. But doesn't but, not just but like isn't every policy but has it. but doesn't um, isn't comp required? Liability is required, but comp's not. Correct. But isn't comp so cheap that everybody gets it anyway? Or it's com- You'd be surprised, man. I have I have a couple people or a couple claims right now I'm dealing with where they just had liability. And now what? Now hold on. They, what? But what's the di- but what's the difference between liability and comp? Like what does? Can you uh, obviously if we had Jay in here today he'd be able to really break it down. But based on what you know about the insurance business, what is the difference between having just liability and having liability and comp? What does comp equal? Comp is a little bit more coverage. Liability is just for other someone else's um, damage, either you know, and and it depends on what you get. I mean, liability could just be like bodily injury liability. Um, comprehensive is a little bit obviously more comprehensive. It, it covers a little bit more stuff where it could be, you know, something hits you on the road or you know someone's tire falls off and smashes your car. Like I have one of those right now. Well, most, um, like most windshield cra- cracks are usually gravel trucks or semis that are kicking up a rock on on the interstate that hits you. That's most most windshield cracks are that. Right, right. And if you don't right. have comp, like said, and if you don't have comp, then that then you got to pay. Re- and what's a retail on a? I know that you know comp. You get it for free, but what to re? If you don't have comp, does that mean you got to pay retail for it? Yeah. What's and what are those go? What's oh, yeah. a what's a front windshield? I guess it would matter what it is, but like on a sta- like on a standard, you know, regular like an F one fifty. What's a what five six hundred bucks? No, uh, uh-uh. no, it's gone way up now because you have all the cameras and detection systems and all that other crap that's you know looking out front. Even an F one fifty that has you know there's all kinds of stuff that's got to be recalibrated. You're talking it starts about a thousand fifteen hundred and goes up. You know, I mean, so it'd be. Um, I mean, so for you idiots that don't have comp, let's say comp's an extra hundred bucks on your in, on your insurance every six months or whatever. Okay, but just whatever. Soon, I mean, the minute you have you break your windshield, it's paid for itself fivefold, right? Right. Yeah. Exactly. So, all right, that's your it's first thing. Break breaking down the windshield game, and then what else? Yep. Second thing is. Um, BK is one of the only fast food companies that doesn't use a bunch of fake shiz in their food. Uh, you know, McDonald's has been one of the worst where they have, you know, 27 ingredients for French fries. And I was researching, trying to live and eat a little bit better. And the only place that doesn't use any kind of fillers or nasty stuff is BK. So we've pretty much cut everybody else out. I mean, not like we have a whole lot of choices here in Fort Myers, but, um, I, but here's the thing, man, with, with, with fast food, none of it, 
None of it is good for you. No. I mean, like, none of it it's is... getting fried in vegetable right, oils, like which it, is some of the worst stuff for you. None of it's good for you. Vegetable and so, oils. at that point, man, it's just straight calories. I don't know, uh, fillers or that or that, but I mean, it's just straight, it's a straight calorie game, and you need to get in, <clears throat> your ass in the gym, or you need to skip a meal, or you need to regulate what you eat that day if you're eating fast food. And, and don't confuse less bad with good, if that makes sense. Like, just because no, BK no, is not- less bad for you possibly than mcdonald's i've done no research on this doesn't mean it's good for you doesn't mean that burger no, king with yeah. their less fillers the the it's whopper still fried, isn't it's as still tr- prepared yeah, and it is, has preservatives just the whopper is that much more healthier right. than the quarter pounder right when they both are coming about you know 1100 calories so processed breads and you know it's not great <clears throat> Anyway, Pedro. But they also add extra sugar and salt to the uh, to McDonald's as well to get you addicted. Did the you see? Is, right, because Burger King's way less addictive. Did than you McDonald's. see, man, where that Allegiant airline dropped fourth and it was headed? It was Philly to 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 St. Pete Clearwater. Yeah. And um, it just out of nowhere dropped four thousand feet, and uh, the flight attendant, this one flight attendant. Was like it looked. The woman described her as looked like she was flying in the metro in the Matrix because you know they went from they dropped four thousand feet in less than a minute, and I guess there was a broken ankle and you know a couple cracked open heads and everything. Has your wife ever had anything like that? <clears throat> like you know a sudden drop of altitude where you know next thing you know she's pie faced t- t- to the uh, to the to the ceiling. Yeah, it just happened a few months ago, which is why she ended up having to go out on leave for like three months. How well did how well Columbia. how well does the um, airline take care of you? I mean, the insurance is decent. It's actually well, I, I take that back. It's pretty awesome. You walk into a place and they say, "Oh, you have, you know, United Healthcare such and such plan. What test would you like? How can we help you?" Instead of well, what oh, I'm saying have- is, I mean, she truly got hurt on the job. If she's a flight attendant and they had a sudden loss of altitude where all these flight attendants got thrown every which way, like it's not hard to prove that she's not faking it. Like, it, you know, like it, the event happened and there was probably multiple uh, injured flight attendants. She's just not the only one, right? Uh, Yeah, but they still fight it. The, and what, you the know, airline? The airline does? News, oh, yeah, if it doesn't make the news, they fight it. Tooth and nail. Yeah. And because they don't want the bad press, you know, they don't want people knowing that things like that happen and they'll fight it. Yeah. Like, well, you know, maybe it just uh, it was a minor drop in altitude, not 4000 feet in in a second. Yeah. You know, maybe it was. I know when they I know when the Allegiant airline landed, the the air traffic, I'm sorry, the pilots have already asked for ambulances to be there. And I don't know how many like all these like they. One guy had already been diagnosed with a broken ankle. Like it's, I think it's kind of hard to fake a broken ankle. <clears throat> yeah. So I got to yeah, think no, that these airlines, but, man, I mean, like when something like this happens to you and you get hurt for, you know, something like that, do you think maybe, Anna, they have an act of God clause where, like, you know, they can't help the 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 weather drop them 4,000 feet and, like, they're not, so. they're, they're not liable? Mm-hmm. Maybe? I think so. Yeah, or yeah, maybe they, they offer do. you a couple round trip willies to to Laguardia and, and you're and you're done. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pedro, I appreciate you, buddy. All right, guys, BK. We'll you're healthy, BK. I think that, that Allegiant uh, air, didn't it do that mm-hmm. over Ocala? Is that where it was? I believe so. I don't know where the actual. Send me the article if you could. I don't know where the actual where they were geographically when they had the four thousand foot drop, Oof. but. I know that they landed at PIE, which is, uh, you know, St. Pete mm. Clearwater Airport, Airport yeah. right over there, you know, let me right off of Olmerton. Yeah. That's where they landed, and that's where they had all the ambulances and had all the, you know, p- people that were there wheeling out. And there was, a, there, there was a story about, see if you can, see if you can find me the story on it, because they had this one woman, this kind of old MILF, this old MILF woman, it was the only woman that they were able to get a soundbite from on TV, and she was like, all I can describe it as is the flight attendant looked like she was in the Matrix, which means, you know, in the Matrix, remember how bodies kind of float in the air? Mm -hmm. Suspend in the air. Right. So, I mean, like, and that's not, you know, the flight attendant saying that, that's a woman that's strapped into her seat saying that that this poor flight attendant was doing the Matrix. Oh, God. I sent you uh, from the Fort Bend. I'll try to find the like a bigger article, but this has it was a, on. It was all on local. Oh, this, this this one just had a different video. 
I'll try to find More it. than halfway through descending. No, here we go. And Check all of a sudden, mullet. we heard a small turbulence, and the the um, stewardess beside us fell to the ground, and then we hit a major turbulence, which was petrifying. And she was literally like, major- "Probably over that. It was probably over that vortex I got at Bubba Raceway Park. You know what I'm saying? Where do you think she's from? And the the um, stewardess mm. beside us fell to the ground. Sounds like. And then you we hit a bad, bitch. major turbulence, which was petrifying. And she was literally like Matrix, watched her go up in the air and just land straight down. Trying to find medical professionals on the plane to help people who were injured. And the injuries were mainly in the back of the plane, where I think typically the uh, turbulence could be a lot worse. St. Petersburg Clearwater mm. International Airport, my friends, is where is where they landed. I don't know if let me if it goes on to say that it happened over. You know, this is just some B roll footage of of all the ambulances, the lights, the gurneys, people being lot, lots of. He, he, now, are there people on these gurneys? Because I don't. No, there's no. No. Nope. No. Is it just stock footage of of empty gurneys? Yeah. Does, does, does the does the does the cameraman go up and say, "Hey, can you guys pull a couple gurneys in there now?" No, he's probably just like he needed a minute, and he only got like forty seconds. So he just got gurney gurney <laughs> yeah, Jones. Exactly. Hey, can you guys run that back? I missed my shot. Here, I got this. This is where I first saw it was on this Twitter. Where it well, says, and, and who Ocala. wouldn't cut all that out? <clears throat> all those. Whatever we watched it, so. <laughs> I sent it to you. Would you send it to? Would you? Would you send me? I sent you the, the where I first saw it, where they said it went over uh, Ocala. That's where it dropped. Right here. Bobby Deskins from Channel uh, Ten broke it right on down. He was showing you, okay. So their flight level uh, looks like they're 35, flight level 30, 350. Let me, that's aviation talk. That'd oh. be flight level 3, th- actually be f- flight flight level 30, 350. 350. Mm-hmm. And then right here, and they're saying that's about Ocala? Yeah. But that, right where, yeah, right, right there, there? Yeah. They go from flight level 350 down to, what's that look like? 15,000. Wow. That's 20,000 feet. 20,000 feet right from here to there. That's a lot. That is a lot. Oh, when I return, we'll get into the DeSantis says, bitch, I'm not number two. I ain't running uh, as 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 Donald Trump's vice. Uh-uh. And then Megyn Kelly breaks down uh, how the media has just been so mean to DeSantis' wife. Which they kind of have been. Well, we knew that was going to happen. But Casey, An- I keep calling her Casey Anthony. Casey DeSantis is incredible, and she has so much charisma and charm. And uh, the bitch can give a speech. So probably I'm out of fan. all, let's take take all of the men that are running for president. Yes, and just throw in the wives. Ron DeSantis. I don't even know any of the wives. I mean, well, you got Melania. You got oh, you oh, got okay, G- yeah. you got Jill. Jill. You got uh uh Casey. Yes. So I mean yeah, those three I don't know what Tim Scott's a, a I don't know bachelor. what Rob, what about Rob Robert Kennedy's wife? I don't know who that who she right, is. Exactly. She's blind. Nope, she's a non factor. Ron, Robert Kennedy's wife? Yeah. That's the one that was the Kirby Enthusiasm wife. Uh Larry David's wife in the show. That's her? Yeah, the blonde. Oh, for blonde. real? Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, that's his, that's his wife. They've been anyway, we'll get into years. that, and then I want to get into. There was an article about Howard's wife, uh, Beth. Yeah, she did a little stunner. She's fifty. Not only is she hot, but she's she's as cool as she is hot. I've no, I, I know her personally. Had a lot of interactions with her, and uh, what a great person. I'll get into that today too. Stand by. <laughs> Deliciously disgusting. You're absolutely right. This is the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Look at her go. Um, Cheryl Ruth Hines, is she Jewish? She's Catholic. Oh, Ruth Catholic.
Oh, thanks, Gargoyle. Appreciate ya. Bouncer. I do a food review. I do a food review. in the CD, so you can do either one. I'll do, this, I'll do the parody. Is that a new one? Yes. Do you want to do CD or the that? Yeah. Right there. Okay. We'll and, then, and then we also, uh, Stein was going to come on today at night 10. Okay, good, perfect. Okay. Do you see I'm busy? Yes. So let me, will you grab that, uh, that plate? Yes. I'm doing editing right now. Right. Let me grab this plate right here, bitch. Oh, okay. Let me see. Grab this plate. I've never tried for EDC. Just never for, been to EDC? Uh, which one I didn't go to, Sunset. That sucks. Yeah. EDC would really be great. You want to go? I'm going. I've never, yeah, I've never been to it's, 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 Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, it's like, holy shit. It's good. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know if I can handle it. Even if you could just do like a Saturday night, Yeah. that's usually the best night anyway. Mummy's going. Oh, yeah. We'll get Bubba to go too. With like a broadcast tent. I'm in the middle of doing some shit right now. I'm working, guys. Fucking distracting me. Working. Fucking working. Editing. It's got a hundred dollars thing from John Cassetta. Thanks for guys for the night, Laker. Good morning. Thank you, John Cassetta. Thank you, Michael. Matthew. I'll see you. Trying to put this fucking content. Guys in here talking to me and shit. Eventually running. You know, six slices of it's an eight dinner. Oh, it's another on another on Albert. On, I do like a, a regurge burp. Should I cut it out or leave it in? Um, I think you should leave it in. Okay, you like that, right? Yeah. And I did the lady in the tramp. Mm -hmm. Let me, what are you at? What did you just ask me a few seconds ago? I didn't ask you anything. Oh, new parody song. Yes. 
Okay, DeSantis and new parody song. That's what I think I've teased, right? Yes. Is there? Casey Anthony. Leave. Oh, oh, I got roof, roof. Bubba the Love Sponge. I love everything about the show. Every day for four hours, man. It just makes time fly by. It's gotta be Bubba. It's Awesome, I love it. And I spent about two hours in my car when it's supposed to be a 20 minute break. Yeah, yeah. Bubba yeah, the Love yeah, Sponge. Yeah, yeah. You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Today's after show, uh, Facebook and YouTube, uh, exclusively for today's after show. Today, a Thursday, hard telling what we'll get into. <clears throat> then tomorrow is Anna uh, and uh, Hummel, the Anna Hummel show. Yep. I'm actually editing. I'm down to like my last 30 seconds of editing yesterday's food review that will go up today at 5 o'clock. Bubba reviews the... Be the Wendy's Baconator, sponsored by Anna's dad, with a, with a couple of little um, Anna jabs. jabs jabs in there. Yeah, <clears throat> you know yeah. Anna's gonna watch it sixteen times and be just totally b- freaked out. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like oh, but is that how Bubba really feels about me? <laughs> I mean, is he really mad at me? Do you think he's really mad at me? Or do you think it was just like? Do you think he was working? Or do you think he's really mad at me? If he would say that, it, probably deep down he's really mad at me, but he's trying to work it. But deep down, it's a shoot. Or maybe it's just a work to create more heat. But deep down, maybe it really is a shoot. But he's trying to make it look like a work. But inevitably, that's how it really is. She'll spin herself out. Oh, always do. Today, 5 o'clock, I'm making my final little edits uh, on it uh, now. So please uh, go to our YouTube channel uh, and make sure you subscribe uh, and get a notification. Because that costs you nothing. And you're going to get unbelievable content like... I do a weekly drive through food review, or just a food review in general. Now, let me, we're still trying to put the final touches on this this Saturday one, are we not? Yes, and I are. feel like we're kind of getting, I mean, let me, are we, are we getting the runaround a little bit? Just be honest with me. I buddy. feel like the, the establishment is not giving us the runaround, that they actually are working on it. I believe it's just the other other people that, you know, maybe just well, think we're getting so, big-timed. Do you think now? Do you think that maybe we're getting big timed by like there's somebody bigger than us? Possibly. Like, when you, like so, Red, hold on. Tell, give me your spin on what's happening. Uh, and then I mean, I'm, I'm not like, entirely <clears throat> sure. I I do have a sneaking suspicion we may end up getting big time to jobbed out. But, I mean, we just have to see what's going on. I don't think by the establishment, like Lemmy said, I don't think that guy is. I think because uh, you know. Because uh, I'm sure that there are. Let's be vague. I'm sure that there I, I, are hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Let's make sure we're vague about what we talk about here. Yes. Okay. I, want, I don't want to necessarily lay it all out. Let's be vague about what we talk about. Right. So right, go right. ahead. Continue on. But I'm sure that there are maybe a couple hundred folks who have reached out to said establishment owner, trying to get in contact with the people that we're in contact with, and now let me try to set something up. So I'm has, sure it's you know has said establishment owner uh, like taking a liking to you and at least like does he know who we are if he's been a, in this area for a while obviously he probably has heard of i mean does he know who we are or yes not? he does and he, yes he has taken a you, you. because a lot of times you would be surprised that you know a lot of people don't know who we are because they've just moved to tampa or you know they were too young whatever yeah no he did and there's I, a generation of people that don't know who i am in this town, I uh, I got the same answer that uh, I we, you know we have been getting that uh, oh I didn't know he was still on uh, so I, then I explained everything and talked and showed show him the numbers stuff. yep showed him everything and then uh, obviously passed that stuff along so they could pass it along. No, when you saw now now when you guys show people the numbers and Anna you deal with people too mm-hmm. uh, are they genuinely impressed with those? Oh yes, oh, no doubt. Yeah, 
No doubt. Okay. I mean, like those, like, you know, that's not, that to me looks like a pretty good, like if I was to be presented that, I'd be like, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. That's pretty strong. Especially when they, you know, they think, uh, you know, we haven't been around for a while. So. Right. And they're like, oh my God, maybe I don't, maybe I can't hear him on 98 Rock, but I didn't know that he had this big of a digital presence. Correct. Right. So he's And like, at the yeah. end of the day, man, what really matters in today's world? Digital presence. Yep. I mean, right, being the, you know, being the afternoon drive girl on Mix, what does that equate to in today's world? Nothing. As far as fame, fortune, nothing. <laughs> the hell out of here. They're paying you thirty. They're paying you twenty five thousand at best to talk up Taylor Swift records in eight second increments. You get a break four times, and you literally. I think a lot of these midday girls, Lummy. I mean, uh, Anna, you know a little bit more about the radio than I do. I mean, you know as much about radio as I do, is I think they literally just pay you for how much for how long it takes you to voice track it. Like it's an hourly thing, and it takes like maybe. Macho is uh, shaking his head. Yes, I have no idea about this. Macho, you're you're very very familiar. You still have friends over at iHeart. You most recently was an engineer, were an engineer over there, and so like um, they'll take and they'll say okay. Uh, you're the midday girl, uh, I heart wise on, uh, you know, 10 adult contemporary stations. And here are the 10, you know, stations. You got a private label. You got to have to do be, you know, you're going to have to go, you know, it's the, it's Alice 1065 Hartford, Connecticut's number one, you know, blah, blah, blah. You got to do three breaks or four breaks an hour for 10 stations and it's all just talk up, yippee You know, nothing's longer than 25 to 30 seconds. It's all just talk breaks, setting up commercials, uh, uh, pre-sale, front sale, station promotion, some type of national promotion that iHeart's putting on. But you can literally do like 10 stations. You can go into a, uh, into a production room and voice track them uh, and in about an hour to maybe two hours, and they literally pay you only for those two hours. Uh, macho Man, am I right? Right. Well, now you're over there? He's been over there, Bubba. Oh. South That's mode. when we hit the the, the bell. He, then he stayed up there. Oh. Is it too, is it too hot o- over there? No, I'm doing the pictures. Oh, you're doing the pictures. Okay, cool. This, this guy is weirding me out. <laughs> this guy's everywhere. <laughs> he sure is. This guy is everywhere. I mean, this guy is... I've, very, I don't, I've not had a lot of new employees that freak me out. This guy's freaking me out. A little, uh, I just talked to him a second ago on his microphone, so I go through this whole spiel, and next thing I know, when I go to ask for his answer, he's bye bye show. He's literally right like one foot away. I never left. That little, Jesus, that little balloon behind you makes it look like you have a little light bulb on top of your head. <clears throat> okay, so I mean, like, uh, like, sure. like, like you know, so when we have the yeah. digital oh. currency and the digital distribution and the amount of terrestrial radio stations and the amount of podcast downloads and the amount of YouTube subscribers. I mean, let me, aren't we over, like, if you take our views of Twitch, YouTube, Rumble, uh, Facebook, uh, uh, you know, all the, uh, all the other places as far as that count views, aren't we over, like, 130 or 40 million views? I think we're, yeah, it's over 150 million. Woo! When you cal- calculate everything. I mean, if you calculate, yeah, views, yeah. hundred and uh, you know, like 150 million yeah. views. Right now, we're talking about that right after the meeting this morning. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you look at followers, 142,000 followers on Facebook, uh, soon to be 100,000 followers on YouTube, you know, 107,000 followers on Twitter, right? I mean, yeah. like, you know, those are those are the big three, Facebook and Insta, and we're just late to, we're just, our show doesn't really correlate to Insta. Insta's more, we're just not good, we're just not good at Insta. We never have been. We were late to the Insta game. And I don't know that our content really moves the Insta needle. And I'm sure, I, I, I mean. It, it does, but it's just, it's just a slow roll. It is. It is. But it is necessary because a lot of people like it and it, it is. keeps our fans and happy. I, I'm not saying that we eliminate it. I'm just saying, you know, our Insta number isn't as nearly impressive as, you mm-hmm. know, 5.2 million podcast downloads. Right. You know. And so, let me, when you tell, when you are booking people and stuff like that, they probably, I mean, we probably have, 
you know, we're not on the most sexiest signal in Tampa, but I guarantee you if you take every Tampa radio personality or you take any radio personality in any of our markets, you take all radio personalities in Fort Walton Beach, you take all radio personalities in Tampa, you take all radio personalities in Orlando, you take all radio personalities in Melbourne, you take all radio personalities in Phoenix, Arizona, and you see if any one of those personalities, which you're probably talking about, what, maybe 100 people total? If you count morning, midday, afternoon, and night personalities for those five or six markets, you're t- and there's what? 20, 30, 30 stations per market. Yeah. You're talking about hundreds and hundreds of radio personalities terrestrially that I guarantee you not one of them, not one of them has our digital footprint. No. Or numbers. No. No way. So, I, let me, I just hope that we get we get to do this because this could be a big game changer for us. Oh, yeah. So please keep working. Please, okay, yep. please, you know, don't take, no, I mean, I'll say don't take no for an answer, but please let me realize how important this is to us. Oh, of course. I already reached out this morning. So. Okay. Just waiting. Just, uh, have you, have you done a face-to-face yet? Yes. Have you gone down there with some bubble army swag? Not, not any swag, no. Okay. Do you, have you, do, the guy you're talking to, what size is he? Uh, extra large. Okay. Get a hold of the crick today. Okay. Have her bring you down a little extra large package, and that would be like the gray uh, Bubba University. Okay. Uh, the standard Bubba Army Black. Okay. And maybe a hat. Okay. And, and then, a couple stickers? Uh, and some stickers. Yep. Yeah, a couple stickers. Okay. And you roll up in there to the owner and say, hey, listen, because listen, not every one of these content providers are going to have their own brand. No. Do you get it? Yep. Now, Ana, do you agree? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, the person we're fighting with with to get this particular a uh, content they don't have what they don't have their own merchandise department chances, oh, no way. Yeah. chances are most likely I mean, not i mean how many radio personalities have their own merchandising department i mean really i mean not a uh, lot I, would, I don't even know of one around here so, let me do not accept no for an answer. I will not. And Merch Crick, if you're listening, bring a hat, uh, an extra large university. I know she's up there. Or she may not be. She may she may have to she may have to go to the doctor today. Oh, no. But anyway, Lummy, we'll get you we'll get you this little care pack. We'll give you one of those nice little, you know, remember those those Bubba Army bags? Yes. See, not everybody has their own gift bags either. No, they don't. Mm-hmm. So when you roll, when you roll in and you're given a comp to a you know to a potential client, and you got your own T-shirt, your own hat, and then your own self, your own gift bag that has your logo on it. I it's mean, good flex. I, that's yeah. It's, that's He's got it together. Pretty strong. <clears throat> Sorry, yep. not everybody's got it. Five six hundred people watching us on YouTube right now, and only three hundred and fifteen. You thumbed me. Does that mean you don't appreciate my work? Does that mean you don't like the show? Is are you just being a dick or being lazy? Being lazy. That's what I heard. Let me. What, what am I? What am I getting ready to listen to here? Carlos Mandingo. Oh, the, hold on. Oh, sorry, Carlos Clem. Carlos. Is that what this whole thing is about? Did he change his name? No, no, no. Uh, he used to go by Carlos Mandingo, but it's this is about uh, it's Klempt, uh, Klemptic instead of Ozempic. Mm. Like Klemp- I'm taking Ozempic. Um, what? What? It's O Klemptic instead of Ozempic. Oclemptic with a T or Oclempic. Oclempic. Oh, not, not yeah. The, lummy. Well, it's not, on there <laughs> it says Ozempic, so I read l- what l- uh, Macho l- put l- on there. Lummy. Sorry. Lummy. Oclemptic <laughs> is far different in meaning than Oclemptic. Clemptic. Oh, or, 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 oh God! Here I am. This God. is contagious. Your stupidity is rubbing off on me, and give yourself a minus one immediately. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> you, uh, it's like I'll come slock. Anna, how do you, how would you like to work in a place where when the boss messes up, he blames another guy and deducts a point? <laughs> it's pretty great. I love it. Me too. I love being the king. The king. Where, you're supposed to be hanging my king picture, Macho Man. Yeah. Bitch. Or to get mine. Dictator. Uh, so you know, I can't wait to. For oh, great one. I can't wait for the pictures that I've given Macho Man and. 
pictures I've gotten from listeners and stuff like that. By the way, send your pictures to show at thebubblearmy.com and the montage of what we run behind me will just be all kinds of cool stuff. Might be a picture of a of a of a of a Kenworth uh, truck with a set of Bubba Army mud flaps. It might be one of the pictures I sent Lummy was the Warsaw. Welcome to Warsaw with the Bubba Army sign on, yeah. like that. A nice. couple pictures of me and Tiz when he used to like me uh, in Winter Circle. You know, just just and then again, a lot of dogs that have their Bubba Army uh, dog harnesses. I lot a lot of that. So send them to me, show at thebubarmy.com. And Anna, you and Lummy and Red and, and, and Mach, you mm-hmm. guys send me pictures because I'm just not going to let you arbitrarily post one because you, I have to approve it. Okay. I might not, it may not be for whatever reason, I may not want it up there. Got it. Taking control of this particular situation. Understood. So Lummy, quit being, it's not Oclimp Dick. It is Oclimpic. Ocl- Oclimpic. There we go. Oclimpic. It's Oclimp's Law. What? What? Give him a minus All right. for a, a just a completely stupid chimer inner, like meaningless diarrhea idea. You got a minus one. Here we go. Thank o- you. Oclimpic. Oclimpic by Carlos Mandico. Yes. I'm Bubba Clem, and I'm taking Ozempic. I just lost a bunch of weight. I want to tell you about it. Here I go. Oh, 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 Clampic. <laughs> I'm cured. Gonna lose 200 pounds on the show. My boyfriend, Dan Zempic. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good so far. Yeah. Pretty good so far. He's gold. It's nice to get. A submission from Carlos, which is his only his third of the year. Yeah, I know you keep scoring. Do you not love me? Yes, it's, it's third of the year. You better start churning them out, uh, uh, Carlos, by the 15th of September. His Escalade is faster than... Well, Lummy, since the cutoff date is September 15th, let's say they have to have um, eight or nine in by then. Okay. You got to have eight or nine in by the 15th, okay? Because I... Cause Taken in account, they'll, they'll make some of the, the last quarter. So you have to have eight in by September 15th for the parody guys to clarify to uh, qualify for BARP, okay? All right, sounds right. good. Yours! Brett, you filthy, quit playing with your wiener dog. I never catch a break. I hate when people are late. I go to the Clem Gym at 2 a.m. in the morning. So far, it's fairly factual. Mm-hmm. I'm crazy in my head. I got- Check. I'm crazy in my head. That mm. merch crick in my bed. I'm gonna take these shots in my stomach and lose a bunch of weight. I'm Bubba Oclampic. I'm all yours. I lost a thousand pounds for the show. My boyfriend Dan Zampic, he's made of gold. Testarossa just ran out of oil. You should know that your mental health may change in unexpected ways while you're using semaglutide injection for weight loss. You, your family, or your kid. Oh, put the disclaimer in there. You should call your doctor right away. Actually, this is pretty well done. Yeah. If you experience any of the following symptoms, depression, withdrawing from friends and family, hiring gingers and bodybuilders, or any other unusual changes in Hiring gingers or bodybuilders. <laughs> oh, my picture montage is working in the back. There's Tony and Tyler in my garage back in the day. Look at that. See that? Let me, let me, that's me uh, power washing underneath a late model with a raincoat on. Nice. Be sure that your boyfriend or doctor knows which symptoms. There's somebody, there's somebody's boxer with a bub army gimmick. Maybe serious so they can give you free Botox injections and vaginal rejuvenations. Oclumpic may cause record high FCC fines, sex tape scandals, IRS probes, wild hog trials. Easy on this one. (laughs) Sex tape scandals, IRS probes. Trolls, Bob Buckhorn, Schmim Schmuthery at Cox Media, Mark Uber, and the jury verdict of being not guilty but not innocent, or rating scandals. However, Oclympic has been shown to help the BRN skinny down our papa and not need to rest your radio. <laughs> <laughs> Anymore, as well as getting up to 100,000 followers on YouTube, so make sure you like, follow, and subscribe, and click the notifications as well so you can see when Lummy is in the goats. Oh, man. Oh, very, very, very 
God. That was pretty strong. Good job, Carlos. That was pretty damn strong. Thank you very much for that, my friend. Uh, Trump, I guess he had a big rally in uh, in Iowa. Uh, but the story was that Ron DeSantis was asked or... Uh, you can forget the idea of Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis tickets. DeSantis isn't interested in being Trump's running mate. I don't think so. DeSantis told a Wisconsin conservative platform this week, uh, I'm not a number two guy. I think I'm a leader. Uh, a Trump DeSantis ticket would always be unlikely. For one thing, feelings between the two guys and their staffs are already pretty raw after a tense and, a, and a, an expensive uh, campaign. Also, uh, some legal analysts say that the Electoral College rules prevent running mates from the same state uh, from claiming the electoral votes of that state. So they're saying right. since they both are, so what they're saying on it is that the president and the vice president can't be from the same state. I know what they're saying. I didn't know that was a rule. I didn't either. Like, mm-hmm. I, I didn't know that that would even matter. Right. I mean, you're going to win the state, whether, I mean, right? I mean, is that are they saying? Or? Are they saying, okay, now... First of all, tell me the last president. This would be an interesting question. Take the, the 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 vice president out of it, but tell me the last time that a president lost his home state. Might have been Jimmy Carter. Atlanta. Uh, might uh, what in Georgia? No. Tell me the yeah. I mean, I think Ronald Reagan may have taken Georgia in eighty. He might in seventy nine. He might have. I can't tell you the last time. That a sitting president, an in, an incumbent president, lost his own state. So what does it matter that the vice president's there? It never happens. It, it never happens. The president always wins his home state. So what does it matter that his vice president's from the same home state, right? I uh, Yeah, it seems like an odd rule. I didn't know it existed. Uh, it looks like Donald Trump lost New York. Against uh, oh Hillary. there there you go that's probably the last when time when he was a resident there yes it's hard to see DeSantis and Trump moving forward or moving out of Florida to ac- accommodate the other there, yeah I mean first of all our governor the only person that could move if they had to do this would be Donald because DeSantis can't leave Florida so that he can be the guy's vice president because he can't live in the same state. He doesn't want to be. He's clearly. the governor. He's still the governor. And he made some real fancy rule. There used to be a rule that if you're going to run for president and you're a sitting governor, you had to resign. Well, he threw in a real quick rule that said the governor can still be the governor and run for president. And that was a rule that he threw up. Did you know that? Yeah, he's the one who put it in place and took it right out of place. Uh, During the appearance Tuesday on uh, Wisconsin Right Now, DeSantis also declined speculation on who might be on the vice president on his vice presidential shortlist. You think it's going to be a no name or it's going to be someone we know? No, I think it's I think it's I think he's doing so badly, Anna. This is just my opinion. Yeah, I think he's doing so badly that it's got to be an oh, wow name. Like it's going to have to be a any can- ideas like 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 maybe a Candace like a Candace Waters. He's Candace Waters. No, I mean, who's that African American? No, who's that? Yeah, Candace Owens. I don't think she's running for anything. No, but not now she's not. Mm-hmm. But what if, you know, what if Ron DeSantis asks her to be his vice? You don't think she would take him up on that? I don't know. A, t- a Tim Scott? <laughs> Tim Scott is running for president. Oh, he is? Yes. Well, that's, but then. But the, I know that the, there's, they, they shake things around. That's how it happens. Around. I know that a Kamala was also running for president. Right, right. So. so that's, so I think it might come from that world. Yeah, that pool. Yeah, like the pool of people that are, you know, running for president. I could president. see Nikki Haley, DeSantis ticket. I would, li- I'd actually like that ticket. I think a lot of people would like that. She's an immigrant, a woman. Yeah, but hold blah, on, blah, here's blah. the deal. That's not, that. what if Nikki Haley has multiple suitors? Meaning like, what if she has... Ron DeSantis that's getting a hold of her, uh, and also Trump. uh, Donald Trump's getting a hold of her. Well, probably you know, whoever is she sees pulling ahead, it I mean, might be Trump. I mean, yeah, I could see that. Uh, she might be actually, she might be ground zero of where, like the oh, that both would want them because yeah. I mean she almost almost saves because everybody. I mean every. Everybody hates Trump. Mm-hmm. I mean, right? 
Uh, not I mean, everyone. Like, I mean, Seems I'm, like I'm, he's pretty popular. But, so. I, but I'm just saying, like, they've done how many? How many? Uh, how many polls have they done? How many research studies have they done? Where if there's a Trump versus Biden deal, Trump loses again. I mean, we see that every day, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every day. Mm-hmm. And then, then, then they show you these other polls that you know DeSantis actually can beat Trump. I mean, can beat um, Biden. And they show you these polls that but that, that DeSantis is actually a plus three well, versus Vi- Biden. But but it's, but it's it's weird combinations like that, because maybe Trump, maybe DeSantis can't beat Trump, but Trump can't beat Biden. But DeSantis could beat Biden. I know because that more people hate Trump. But, you know, but but DeSantis isn't going to win the primary. Understood. So. Like it doesn't matter. I I understand, but that's where it just get kind of gets complicated, gets messy. And so I think DeSantis, it, at least he could have, you know, six months ago, be have beaten Biden, but I don't think that he would have been able to beat Trump at that time. And so and so here's the, the deal. Primary. So the vice means everything. The vice is the pawn that could potentially make the difference in the GOP. I mean, that's why those moves are so strategic, right? Right. And so, I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 I would assume N- N- Nikki Haley is such a huge asset because she's a breath of fresh air. She's more of a moderate than anything. That's exactly what the GOP needs. It needs to center itself. It's gone too far right. And that needs you to. Think the GOP has gone too far right. I think DeSantis has. Well, I think DeS- I think DeSantis has gone too far right. Not Trump, who not, kind of reshaped tr- the Republican not, Party. Not Trump, yeah. But DeSantis, yeah. And so, since you like, if you like Trump's, you know, moderate stance, then you'd love Nikki Haley's. It goes right along the lines, if not a little bit more. That's perfect. If I'm if I'm Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis, I can't sign I can't sign up Nikki Haley fast enough. She might just be your ticket to win. Certainly could. Yep. It could certainly influence the race. I mean, DeSantis certainly needs, I mean, he's trending like minus 18. And he needs something of shock value, right? There's just, yeah. it's, 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 it's a, he's a non-factor at this point. Something has got to give. Either Trump's got to get arrested 10 more times or, I mean, something's got to give in order for the current pulse of the GOP and potential voters that they do these polls on. And when you're getting your ass kicked by 19 points, man, uh, you've something you've got to make. A, 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 you've got to make something. You've got to shake something up. Mm-hmm. Nikki Haley would be that shake up. I think that would work out well. I'm also really I don't curious like to see DeSantis what's going right to RFK. I'm going to tell you. Uh, yeah. The Democratic side. What about RFK? Honestly, Goes and Bubba, get Nikki Haley. Bubba, here's the thing with RFK. Poor guy ain't going to be allowed to run. Let me tell you about RFK. So he is everywhere now. Like he was on Rogan. He's on Lex Friedman podcast. I frequently listen to. He knows to. how to do it. He, well, no, here's the deal. I Everything that all of the clips that I saw on YouTube that popped up when he came on last week on, on Lex Friedman podcast, all those things I love. He was talking about exercise, CIA, assassinations, like all these things that I love. Bubba, I could not listen to him. That voice is I just, I, it is like nails on a chalkboard for me. You know, I'm like, oh, my God, he's going to talk about the assassination of his uncle. I can't wait. And it's like. (laughs) And and, and, now, hold on. That's you who tends to be a little more open minded than the average. But but the average American is even more judgmental than you. And they're like, you know what? I can't get through that voice. We are so shallow. We are so shallow. No, no, no. It's not shallow. It's just like it's it's like an irritating bug in your ear. Oh, he, I mean, he came out the other day oh, on Dusty so Waters and said he can't even stand here in his voice. It's, it's it's really really bad, Bubs. And I wanted to listen but so bad. But, but I put it on ju- closed captions on mute for a second, but it's just not just as the same. You know that, my Sirhan, where did I listen? Sirhan, yeah, this is where I was have listening. anything to do with killing my dad. It's my dad Bubba, was shot from behind. The bullet trajectories show that they were going up, and there was this guy who just hired on. He had six shots. Five of which hit. One hit a guy in the lapel that didn't matter. But Sirhan Sirhan fired off three shots, and all three shots were accountable. Yeah, except like ten times worse than that because that's I know, listenable. But that, I sent you a clip, the clip that I was listening to. Yeah, they resend it to me because my stuff disappears so fast. It's pathetic. I was trying so hard to just stay focused, and, and I couldn't. I couldn't do it. You, you, 
but I will tell you, man, uh, he's so. being, you know, you don't see DeSantis and you don't see, uh, you know, like. You can start from the beginning. I mean, maybe. I mean, RFK is kind of going to the podcast underbelly. That's people are. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. He's yeah. smart like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't see DeSantis and those guys doing a lot of high-profile podcasts. Maybe only Rogan, if Rogan would allow it. But like, you know, I I applaud yeah, Jay, Trump uh, would do it. I, no I applaud one. RFK for you know, knowing who the movers and the shakers are yes. in the podcast world. And you know, this is still a non-conventional way to get the message out. It's not the sexy headlines of CNN's, you know, or or, or Fox. Yeah, but this it's, is it's, the this it's is where his but, base is. But it's where everybody really is. Where the people who are logical, the, uh, are the strength and integrity to resist the uh, what did you call them? The, the salad salad brass and institutions like the CIA. Where does Lex? Where's Lex Friedman base out of? I think he's in Austin. But and he went to MIT. He how, was doing AI robotics. How big is his podcast? Huge. He had B, uh, BB um, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu on like last a few days ago. And they actually come into the, the studio. prime minister of Israel on his podcast. What the hell? Uh, like via Zoom or on? No, like- he was on the podcast. And for a while, he was trying to get Putin on. I was like, because he's um, half Ukrainian, half Russian, and, and like, so like, if he was to get Putin on, yeah, does he fly to them? They don't fly to they don't fly I've, to Austin, I've Texas. No I'm sure they'd be flying to them. I don't they, think he's going to get Putin uh, on anytime so, soon. But he that, talked that about makes, it. Hey, would that not be the biggest score ever? And he would do it in Russian. He said, "But would that not be the biggest <laughs> score ever? Might end the war. I don't know. No, but you know what? <laughs> Putin might be smart to do it. No, that would be dumb. The particularly." tragic that he was killed uh to what degree was cia involved see i'm like Ooh, yeah the various bureaucracy involved i get all like titillated death. the evidence that ah! the CIA was involved in my uncle's uh, murder and that they can that they were you would think i, I you would honestly think couldn't with, do it you would think with all the medical technology that we would be able to like maybe do a lab, Stephen Hawking lab, sort of well lab grow like a new voice box or whatever something whatever the problem like whatever this condition is that we'd be able to lab grow a new one and yeah. put it right in there for them. It's so bad, Bubs. Subsequently involved in the cover up and um and continue- can somebody t- maybe Alexa will t- Alexa what disease does Robert Kennedy Jr. suffer from that makes him talk all goofy? Alexa, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Oh, Today wait. is Barbershop Music Appreciation Day. Oh, hell yeah. And if you yeah. appreciate that, ask me to sing a barbershop quartet. Sing me a barbershop sh- sh- quart- Yeah, sing me one. Quartet. Sing. On a Google. Oh, I mean, I think. <laughs> what, Lummy? I have the answer, but I was waiting until. On a Google, or Lummy Bing, or Alexa. I'll take, I'll take on a Google. <laughs> it looks like he suffers from a condition called spasmor- spasmodic dysphonia, which causes the muscles that generate a person's voice to go into periods of spasm. And by periods, I mean all the time. So why couldn't they just put some new bo- voice muscles Bitch, I don't on know. Do you need to be involved in the cut rub? I mean, there's still... They're like, hey, Robert, uh, I got a good voice. I've always been considered that I got a pretty decent voice. Um, I'll, I'll sell you my vocal cords for like, you know, five million bucks. I know you got it. And I'll talk like that. It doesn't really matter. People still so wouldn't like bad. me. Hi, this is Bubba, and I swapped vocal cords with RFK Jr. And look at and him. He like, he's sound, a good-looking guy. He sounds like I do. We Listen, we were just, in, you know, my voice matches my bad body better than his voice. So my cool, smooth, former Bubba voice Looks good as hell on him. Yo, yo, yo. No, not my... See, I killed my uncle. Not, not my power pig oh, voice. Sorry. My regular adult speaking oh, voice. Oh, right, right. Poor guy. Look at him. He looks so presidential. He's yeah, in he's great so, shape. He's, he's handsome. He, he has absolutely Steamed. got the entire package. <laughs> this guy is the best candidate to be the next president of the United States. He makes the most sense. Can't do he's it. the most rugged. He's the most down the middle. He's a Kennedy. He's just, he's smart. Mm-hmm. He's hes more like a common man. He's kind of more mainstream and, and more polished than Donald. Uh, and, and poor guy. He's, I mean, he can take his shirt off. He looks good as hell. Good looking man. Never killed Those a baby woman. blue eyes. Never killed a woman in Chappaquiddick River. Nothing. Sure He's the cleanest Kennedy. He is the cleanest Kennedy that uh, that there is, and he still man. 
I, the, God really does play tricks. He just doesn't give it to you all now, does mm-hmm. he? Because this guy is only a normal male voice away from being the president of the United States because we are so judgmental yeah. that in, even Anna, who is so enamored by the content. So, like, this is my shtick. Like, this whacks you her like out. You like the racing and the skag, you know, yeah. and stuff. I, this, is, this is my jam. CIA stuff. Working out. Yeah. He's talking about all this stuff. Right. AI and you, will have a voice for him in a year. And so Geopolitics. And so when you get like your P1, your ultra P1, you have a person in Anna Hummel that wants to stay here for all 18 minutes and just listen the hell out of this and maybe start and stop and listen to it again and be yep. like, hell yeah. I didn't know that, but that's cool as hell. I like this guy. Yeah. She's. She turns it off I, because I, he's Johnny Fry. I can't even Fry. pay attention because it's so distracting. I feel so bad. I, I, I feel so bad for this guy. I'll give you my vocal voice for $5 million, buddy. That's cut but right. But I, I watched like eight minutes, like closed captions, but it's just not the same. 5,000 documents that they won't release you know, 60 years later um, is, I think, so insurmountable and so, um, you know, mountainous and overwhelming that I, it's beyond any reasonable doubt, including, you know, dozens of confessions of people who were involved in the, in the, uh, in the assassination, but, you know, all of, uh, every kind of document. And, Can you listen to that um, for a long time? And you know, I, I kind of get used to it. I, I can't, I couldn't do it. So he was on Jesse Waters on Monday and he said I mean, he can't say his me. voice, but he wanted to. But, but see, I mean, he's 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 getting it. He's getting he Fauci. Turn it over to Redemption. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He's a 2024. Like Look at those I mean, eyes. 33 I mean, seconds is where he kind of gets into it, like talking. Thir- and Jesse 30. Waters says he couldn't stand his voice. Oh no no! He, uh, uh, RFK says he can't stand his own voice. Oh, 33 oh, oh. seconds. Oh. Like right on there, he talks about what's wrong with him, and then okay. he goes into Fauci. Okay. Tell the audience who had never seen you before what's going on there. I, I had a very, very strong voice until I was 42 years old. And then I got an injury, which is a neurological injury. It's called spasmodic dystonia. And, uh, and I've I made my voice like this. Uh, I apologize to everybody. You don't have way. to apologize. It's well, fine. I, you know, I, I should I, apologize I for being play. such a See, this, Anna, he, he might be working it where... Now he's saying he's sorry that he that he that he's this no, irritating. Bad. No, but see that might be the right angle. No, it is. It is. He's like, listen, I'm so sorry. I know. It, it. I know it's tough to get through, but just give me a chance. And then you know what? You know what? I'll then go back to that. Th- clip, then and then you're like, you know what? I'm gonna give that guy a chance. Yeah. You know? I like him. It's just, you know. And once hard. he gets in office, he doesn't have to speak much at all like Biden. And apologize <laughs> for being such a- I mean, yeah, if he speaks as much as Biden, it's not gonna be a problem. What is he sure. apologizing for? No, I- <laughs> I can't oh. listen to myself on TV. I will not listen to this. So whatever you That say, makes two of us. <laughs> My mother, when she found... Oh, Jesse, that's kind of... ...found out you were coming on. She's a big Democrat. She says, he's dangerous. He's an anti-vaxxer. He says that autism comes... Now, from- now we're going to hear if we can get through RFK's, you know, <laughs> vocal yeah. cord willy. He's actually got some pretty good stances on a lot sure of controversial does. things that have divided our country. He has some of the most common sense answers to some of the biggest problems we've faced as a nation. Kind of kind of like if if the Democrats and the Republicans kind of would have gotten together and had like a little powwow and say, let's quit being complete dicks on this and let's work together. He kind of has that perspective. From vex- and I, and I, I honest to God think that's what we need. We really do. Yeah. And you must challenge him on that, G- Jesse. Is my mom crazy? Well, uh, I do believe that autism does come from vaccines. But I think most of the things that people believe about my opinions about vaccines are wrong. I, you know, all I've said about vaccines, we should have good science. We should have the same kind of testing, placebo controlled trials that we have for other, every other medication. Vaccines are- And I mean, and how many of us said, man, listen, one of the things that we're scared about with regards to the COVID vaccine is that it got literally fast-tracked through in about six months. And then I may even remember, I even remember Anna specifically coming up with the data where Anna said like she did some research where the average U.S. drug, and if I can remember right off the top of my head, takes like between eight and 10 years. Yes, it was like 8.9, 9.1, some, somewhere yeah. along that. Like nine years for the, the average, average for the average drug 
to finally come to, to market. get approval through the board. To finally yeah. come to marketplace. Yes. It's about nine years. Yeah. Not six months. And yeah. <laughs> and so that's kind of what and, and, and that is, you know, the average American who either took a shot or not mm-hmm. probably would feel better. I mean, that's that's kind of how we feel. like, listen, I, I, I got to take this vaccine. But I mean, deep down, they haven't really been able to test it. You know, what if all of a sudden I got heart, uh, you know, cardiac issues? Mm-hmm. I mean, we're putting we're putting we're not putting saline or, you know, testosterone or anything on our body that can kill us. We're putting something in our body that's that's chemically been made to uh, through germs and antibodies and you know and we're putting that in our body yeah we're not putting a a, 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 we're putting a a vaccination and also like for our body to trigger like there's so much science involved as to what they're putting in our body on what that vaccine's supposed to do it just doesn't doesn't go in there and kill it a lot of vaccines cause a trigger which allows a neuron to like you know it's really no but it's really (laughs) it's really in depth i know mrna technology has been around for a while but i think and i could be wrong but i think this is the first time it was like used in mass produced and and given to the public right with the uh the pfizer and the Moderna. And so he's That's right. Nice. The average American, whether you got stabbed or not, at yeah. least is saying, man, I'm a, I'm fully vaxxed. I'm a vaxxer. But you'd be a liar. There's a lot of people right now, man, that are full. I mean, that got all vaccinations that are freaked out by COVID that, you know, and they and they got they they wouldn't hang out with people that weren't vaxxed. But deep down in your head, you know, if you were to be honest there's t- there's been times where you've said to yourself, we haven't done a lot of testing on all this stuff that I've jabbed in my arm that's now in my body. A very slippery slope it's, here. It's, <laughs> it, 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 you know, I'm a little concerned. That, you know, we don't know what's gonna what this stuff does in nine or ten years. We mm-hmm. don't know because we don't have any tests and trials. We don't have like any data. if they do, if they did, like, like let's just say Ozempic. I don't know how long. They tested Ozempic. Maybe that'd be a question for Alexa. It's been around for diabetics for a while, but it hasn't been used for weight loss for the general public until recently. Uh, Hey, Alexa, how long of trials did uh, uh, Ozempic have? Hmm. I don't have an answer for that. I wasn't a real good at a question. Uh, Hey, Alexa, how long were the Ozempic drug trials? Sorry, I don't know that. Bing? Yes, Bing. 68 weeks. Huh? 68 weeks, it says. All right, so on a 68 weeks, there's 50. So that's a little. That's that was a, probably just for. That's like a loss. year and a half. So, yeah. Yep. But it was already on the market. That's the thing. It was already on the market. But for they diabetics. were able to jab people and look at what their body did after a year and a half. Right. You know, we don't We don't know what's going to happen. We don't. And even you fully vaxxer people, which God bless you. That's your deal. That's mm-hmm. your gig. You You don't really know. You can't say that you know because you don't know. And it looks like for uh, the other, uh, it's 109 weeks for Ozempic for the uh, diabetes. 109 weeks. That's yes. two. It's two, two. Two years and some change, time. Yeah. Uh, I got to get back on track. I'm way late, but I got phone calls, and I might got. I also and, and, have a a video of RFK's voice before it it get, changed. We, get that for me. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Deliciously disgusting. You're absolutely right. This is the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Handsome boy. Did you get it, Boobang? No, I don't. Yeah, a- you got to tell me you're sending it. Or- I'm sending something right now. That's what you got to say, because if not, I just, it, I, I have no There's way. a lot of people in Alabama and oh. George Wall. So sad. All right. Uh, we'll I got to make your You need anything, Boobang? Uh, we got You didn't ring the bell. I know. Well, we're no, but you didn't ring the bell. We're in a commercial break. You didn't ring the bell. Uh, that's Mummy! <laughs> yes, brother? Minus. Oh, what a 
I gotta start, you know, I, I gotta start being a little more heavy handed on. He's getting a little cocky. Oh, I dropped the molly this morning, sorry. He, 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 he's getting a little cocky. He is. Give him a minus one. He's turning into like he's, like, like, like he's, like he's in charge. Oh, I'm sorry. That was like, uh, well, if you want, because that, that would probably be good. Yeah, that would be my thing. Just walk over there. That would yeah, be so, great. Number one, we'll exactly. Counter pick. Six Hello, burns if you want to hold on. You heard that air. A slow day, money wise. Right? Let me. I got my bank biceps there. Let me slow by. Slow day. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go, guys. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. Oh, I think I got. Oh, no, not a slow day. I, met, I missed a bunch. Oh, no. On the PayPal? Yeah, motherfucker. I missed a hundred from John Costica, and I missed uh, uh -oh. twenty-five from uh, Michael B Michael Beal. That was weird. What the fuck? He Beal. said, "Here's twenty-five towards setting up a national charity for Lum Lum's brain transplant." Thank you. Send you the link, Lummy. Thank you. See you the link, Lummy. Look at this shit. That scared me. What's this? Mine's out the whole damn thing. Yeah, um, yeah. can you look at my trailing on yeah, one of these days and see if I can? Yeah, I gotta fucking. I'm gonna finish my edit up on my. Well, I mean, who the phone phone uh, phone calls? I'm from Colorado. Tell him to hold on. I did. I, I picked up. A, All uh, right, thanks. Told him we're back in seven minutes. I gotta finish my edit. Just over there. Full. That's pimp right there. That fucking pimp right there. Man that can make that statement. That's how I train them. Women and or dogs, Lummy. Women That's, and or dogs. Oh my God, I gotta play this by the end of the show. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Good morning, happy gun guy. We were talking about putting it here, right? Yeah. I actually, I put it a little bit more. To, I put it right next to the Warsaw sign. Because it might get on camera a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. The next segment? Yes. Gotcha, put that in your little thing. 9 30? I put that in your thing. Up to Bubba. Okay. I know, but what, 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 what? I'll do a quick break then. Okay. And we'll have them on by 9 20, okay? All right, I'll let them know. Nine, right. Tell them not, maybe not closer to 9 15. Okay. I might play, you know, I'm going to play the Olympic. Okay. Are you going to show video? What's that? Are you showing anything on the screen? Huh? Well. For the, that one? Yeah. Shit. I don't, but I don't have to. You can. I'll move this over here. No, I'm, I was going to play this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm trying to get out of here. Oh, well, don't worry about it. There we go. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm just, I'm just like this. Live from Tampa, Florida, home of the big, fat, greasy bitch, it's the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. And now, here's your host, Bubba the Love Sponge. I'm Bubba Clem, and I'm taking over Zimbic. And I just lost a bunch of weight, and I want to tell you about it. Here I go. Oh, 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 Clem Bick. I'm cured. Gonna lose 200 pounds on the show. My boyfriend, Dan Zimbic. He's gold. His Escalade is faster than yours. Brett, you filthy, quit playing with your wiener dog. I never catch a break. I hate when people are late. I go to the Clem Gym at 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm crazy in my head. I got merch crick in my bed. I'm gonna take these shots in my stomach and lose a bunch of weight. I'm Baba Oclampic. I'm all yours. I lost a thousand pounds for the show. My boyfriend Dan Zampic, he's made of gold. His show Testarossa just ran out of oil. You should know that your mental health may change in unexpected ways while you are using semaglutide injection for weight loss. You, your family, or your caregiver should call your doctor right away if you experience any of the following symptoms. Depression, withdrawing from friends and family, hiring gingers and bodybuilders, or any other unusual changes in behavior or mood. Be sure that your boyfriend or doctor knows which symptoms may be serious so they can give you free Botox injections and vaginal rejuvenations. Oclempic may cause record high FCC fines, sex tape scandals, IRS probes, wild hog trials, trolls, Bob Buckhorn, Schmim Schmuthery at Cox Media, Mark Uber, and the jury verdict of being not guilty but not innocent or rating scandals. However, Oclempic has been shown to help the VRN skinning down our pa pa and not need to rest your radio anymore, as well as getting up to 100,000 followers on YouTube. So make sure you like, follow, and subscribe and click the notifications as well so you can see when Lummy is up in the goats. Lummy, that, that next to Arlene might be... Don't forget, we have to do Song of the Year. Yeah. What do we do? Song of the year and then artist of the year. That's correct. what we do, correct? Yes. Right. And if you had hadn't lost the Old Testament, the Bible, show notes, if you will, Lummy's original trapper keeper, you might be able to be able to go have gone through all those. But I don't think right off the top of your head you'd be able to do that. What the the song in the the artist of the year was uh, Dark Match Steve, and the song of the year was Carlos Mandingo. Have you retrofitted those into your current notes? No, those are just on top of my head. Well, you should, I would retrofit. I'd actually put that down. Okay. You know, 2022, uh, you know, sh- our, our parody guy of the year and parody song. That way you don't, I mean, what if, let me, what if you were to do mine erasers with me at the dollhouse on Saturday night and you'd forget that information because you didn't write it down. Now you've written it down. Let me, there's a reason why somebody has a screen name called, let me write this down. You dumbass. Write it down. Did you write it down? Yes, I did. Uh, hello. By the way, Michael Beal, 25 bucks. That's on the PayPal. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. That's how you keep us uh, alive, fellas. It's unlike any other radio program or content deal in the entire world. It's, just a, it's a template that most people just can't quite, well, quite, quite frankly believe. Anna and all the Cox people thought that this money that we make digitally and from our various sources and from the Bubba Army and the BARP and the Inner Circle and just the whole cult-like we the cult-like following we have so that we can sell merchandise and just, you know, do the things that we do globally. Most local people think that it's all a flim-flam and that Diacos are paying for it all. And my ego is so big that I have to sit here and they have fake accounts that give us money. Did you know, Anna, that was a conspiracy theory over at Cox? They thought... I didn't, that, I didn't know that yeah, when I was Seth there. Seth told us, you know, because Seth was a, little, was a little bit, you know, if the little more... In the know. In the primetime circle. He, sur- he sure was. Right, because yeah. he was Afternoon Drive co-host. Yep, yep. I was and in he the said, bitch. And he said, you know, the big, amongst the Drew show and the Calta show, and everybody's like, you know, but there's no way Bubba's making that kind of money digitally. Right. And that's just the Diacos that are funding them, and just so that they can, you know, Bubba, who, who would do that? 
we're going to spend three or four hundred thousand dollars a year uh, and have all these fake accounts so that Bubba can act like he's still on the radio. Right. Come on, man. Idiots. You're just jealous. But you little bitches. I got to figure it out. Thank God Tom had a me- Tom Bean had a meeting with me in 2017 and said, man, we've got to go digital. And we're going to start with this thing called Twitch. I, go, I don't even know what that is. Would you call me, Tom? He goes, let, let me show you what. And I went right to Amber Ruth. Let me, my first experience was Twitch is I went right to Amber Ruth. And I go, that's what we're doing? Nice. He goes, I, I said, we, got, we better hot. get some, uh, uh, we're doing girl stuff? And he goes, nah, she's just, you know, whatever. You're going to do your, you're going to do your show. I'm going to camera up the studios. I'm going to pay for it all. And then that's how you're going to be able to start making money. I'm like, oh, pfft. Well, let me, our first month we made like $700, remember? Oh, yeah, that was That's nice. That's like, I, I lost 40 oh. Hello. Hey, uh, Bubba, this is Alan in Denver. Hi, Alan from Denver. Hey, hey uh, how you guys doing? And by, and, by what me, and, by, and by what means, Alan from Denver, do you do you watch or listen or, you know, or, or enjoy I the program? Tell me, tell me how deep you are on, on our platforms. Tell me your platforms. Uh, I switched between Bubba Army Radio and uh, Rumble. Perfect. But, hey, I, I, I didn't hear a YouTube in there, buddy. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not really big on YouTube. I don't even have an account on YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. And that you're, then in that case, then you're okay, because there's some people that just don't even yeah, care I'm, for it. Yeah, I'm kind of antiquated. All I right. just got my first cell phone last Hey, listen, year. man, I got, I, it sounds like I got you on BAR, and I got you on... Um, and I got you on Rumble, so I'm I'm good. You you're you're helping the cause, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, and I I'd never heard of you before until uh years ago when uh uh Smoke ninety four one in Denver first started and they were uh uh self supported standalone, no commercials, you know, because I'm cheap that way. I like listening to uh radio without commercials and and uh you know, not willing to pay for the, the satellite deal. Um but then they picked you up for the morning show, and that was right after. Oh, you so you, so you phone. were like, so listen, here's the deal: we were on this little radio station, and it was such. And this is an interesting story. We were on this little radio station in Denver, Lummy, and it was a, it wasn't even a full blown station. It was like one of those transmitter deals, and uh, and you can only hear it like in north, like a, a certain little section of Denver. I mean, like, sir, the signal didn't go that far, did it? Uh, not as far as I know. I mean, I know that the the metro area could hear it. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't like a big flamethrower. I mean, it, you had to be no. relatively close to Denver to be able to get it. No, no, all the other comp- uh, com- uh, competition radio stations did what they could just to shove them out. Right, like you know, like 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 ninety four one had like probably a twenty five mile radius, and the other class at full blown hundred thousand waters were at thirteen thousand feet plus you're in Denver, so you know just your antenna yeah. height alone I mean there's probably some radio stations some f m radio stations that can go nearly a hundred miles uh in and oh, in, yeah. in Denver easily a hundred miles oh yeah, I think they use a car battery and a clothes hanger. So anyway, it was just we were on this very specialized station, and it was all about weed, and it was called Smokin' ninety four point one, and we were only on for like what, maybe two years. Yeah, yeah. And then iHeart, and, the and and we were and the guy, the guy, the 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 owner of the station was cool as hell, man. He was like, you know, he had some. Oh, great, yeah. I mean, like it was a great kind of real hippie, get high, you know. It was just real cool. It played real good rock music, and it had. You know, like the all the radio personalities were were were, were kind of crazy, and and I was the morning guy, and you know we actually had that's how you found out about us. Yeah, yeah, that's when I first started listening to you, and then I did a little bit of looking into, and I was like, ah, you know, this guy's pretty interesting, and you know, just started you know doing some digging in and and listening to you more and more. I usually listen to you because we were on a delay here in Denver, right? Um, and started listening to you in the morning while I was at work. And, um, so one, so 94, one, 94, one exposed you to us. And then, you know, as we went away there, because the guy sold the station and made a ton of money. Um, you then, oh, yeah. you then were able to figure out oh, how you can, I, listen, I, I can figure out how to find them. Cause I know that there's other way to, ways to get them, but you were exposed initially through, 
you know, 94.1 that for, in order for you to, that's kind of how you lost your, but Hey, l- l- let me, we can say, we can say that's how he lost his Bubba army cherry. That's right. Like how did you lose your <laughs> Bubba army cherry? You I mean, I'm pop. sure everybody's got a story as to how they first heard us, right? Yeah, I was on the show. <laughs> yeah, and as much as I enjoyed the uh, the last uh, the, that format that you did then, you know, with Manson and and Twenty Five and all them other guys, um, as and t- entertaining as that was, I think the new one is a, just a complete and total great. Uh, re, uh, re reinvention of it, like almost um, kind of a, almost it. like a like a, like a re kind of reskin or like a like a I don't know. It's just it's, it's kind of a I don't know a, a revamp, if you will, a, a remodel, yeah, a remodel. Something. Yeah, you built something completely different, but equally as cool. And uh, I do have to tell you that uh, one one distinct story I remember from back then was when you had Beefud on there. And he had his sorry song uh, after he screwed up on the radio uh, during the uh, booty luge. And I had Man, to go I, you know, to if, if, I, if, if I could have gotten B-Fud not to be such a weirdo and be just a little bit more <laughs> normal, I could have made that guy. I mean, because I could, I would have had, I mean, he would have been, let me, we would have had, I would have had you be his handler. Yep. And you guys just go from one sporting event to another, and they would not be able to tell him no because he knew how to play. Oh, you're going to discriminate against a disabled guy? He knew how to play that game. <clears throat> so, like, when he would when he would go to get press passes, you know, for the, uh, for the Buccaneers, the Buccaneers were like, no. Uh, and so he went down there and got, got a hold of the PR, like, face-to-face and had, I think, Trace taping it. On the, on, the, on the iPhone, and he was like, oh, so, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm disabled, I'm mentally disabled, and I have, you know, papers uh, diagnosing me as mentally disabled with an IQ of 62, uh, and here's all my government paperwork that I am disabled, and you're basically discriminating against a disabled person who's trying to become a sportscaster when no other, radio, ra- no other conventional t- uh, pr- place will give me a job except Bubba's, and so, uh, boy, let me, they're like, uh, no, 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 that's that's not what we're saying, huh? Uh huh. No, you can have you can have press passes. Were they not? Let me. Were they not? Oh, we yeah, could they, we could get a press pass to any event we wanted because B Fud knew how to play the. You're discriminating against me. He he had it down, did he not, Love? Yes, he did. It was but if, if I just wish I could have, I just wish I could have managed him better at that time, because I could have made him a star. God, I could have made him a star. Well, I mean, B, the, the the way you guys worked B-Fud was hilarious, but he's a liability. Oh, he's a huge liability. That was the problem. I was afraid, like, one of these days he was going to go down to the pool and touch a girl. <laughs> and, you know, like, like, you know, like something like that. That's why I had to get rid of I had to get rid of him. But anyway, uh, buddy, then, I, then, I, 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 I appreciate I got to get going because I'm running late. Did you have anything in, in, besides how I found you? Did you have any other thing that you need to talk about? It's a great show. Um, Dr. Dan Esquire, he is like a supercharger to your show when he's on. And then one other thing, um, whenever you are talking, you're going through words and you see a hot chick and you're like, oh, she's so hot. And I got, I got to hurry up and I got to look it up and, and see sevens all day. If, if Lummy gives me a, a, a number to uh, text you, I can send you, not, not graphic, but I can send you pictures of my wife. She's a freaking twelve all day. Really? <laughs> you're all oh, public. Red Farm John's yeah. I mean, so on the you're saying, I mean, you're saying not only did you organically stumble upon me and then you went through how you lost your Bub Army Cherry, but you're saying yeah. you happen to be a real cool dude in Denver that has a super smoking wife. Oh, dude, you would not believe. We're 47, but she is, is like, she's a, a 12, if you thought, you would think that she was in her early 30s. Really? She's just that. Oh, yeah. I mean, does she, like, you know, is she naughty? Does she, like, you know, does she really bring it in bed? Yeah. Well, 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 she's only naughty with me. No, no, no. But, I, I wasn't insinuating any other. I'm saying, like, oh, no. okay, I mean, do, do, not only does she have the looks, but does she, also, does she also have the prowess, if you will? Not for me, for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. No, no. She's, no, I have been. I like like when you guys like when you guys go out to guys like be like like snap their head and be like holy crap look at that coog oh 
Oh, no. Hell yeah. Well, they're, they're thinking that she's not nearly as old as, as, as what we are. Um, I have to tell you that all of my male friends and neighbors kind of hate me a little. They all want to blend. They all the dudes want to blast her. Oh, yeah. She's the number one cause for long showers around here. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. you know, maybe if uh, you know, we can somehow get a, a way to get, you know, let me get this guy's information so that um, An email picture. Yeah, you can email. So uh, at the. Well, you know, maybe let me. I might want to text. You know, <clears throat> maybe a text would be better. You know, yeah, Emails a little, to... little more comfortable there. Yeah, there you go. I mean, you know, let me. If he sends me a personal text on my phone, maybe I'll get like a tee shot or something. You know. Oh, okay. Whereas if he emails the show, you know, we just get a standard one piece bikini willy. But if you send it to Bubba Clam, you know, maybe a full blown letting him hang. You know, kind of deal. You never know. All right. You never know. So hey, listen, well, uh, we'll De- Denver. Hold on. I'm going to put you on hold. I'm interested in everything that okay, you're buddy. slinging on. Hold on. I'm, let me, I don't have even time to go to the other two. Oh, no, yeah. And now Anna's going to get mad because we all be... Uh, we... I'm going to just blow through these calls really quick. Don't worry. Uh, this is Robert... Uh, uh, well, this gentleman here who we have just fallen in love with and who, I, who, who honest to God, I really was, wish was the next... I, I want this guy to be the next president. That makes you mad. Sorry. But I... I want this guy to be the next president, but Americans are so shallow that we're not gonna we're not gonna vote in a guy that sounds like this. Exempt from pre-licensing placebo-controlled trials, so that there's no way that anybody can. This tell guy me. has the best message, but the worst delivery mechanism. It's not that Americans are shallow; it's hard to listen to. Really involved. Now, this is him before you. This is him. Yeah, at, this is this 1978. Is, this is him at 1978. Look uh, at him. He's a good-looking. That's a good-looking man oh. right there. A stance of defiance. He was really forced to go in and and actually take over institutions that in other places of the in the South were were Could, there was a what? Somebody just broke in on me. What? What? Hello, Rat. D- Rat, you just broke in and then you you you. you <gasps> did, 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 it was a mistake. Sorry, sorry. It's fine. I mean, it's, don't tell me it's fine. I determine whether it's fine or not. It's not fine. What were you trying to do? It was just, I thought it was the right channel, Willie deal. Huh? <laughs> the audio I thought was right channel only, and I, I wasn't hearing it in my left headphone. So why, but why would you chime in on a deal? I didn't mean to. Let me, never, another one. It, I'll take it. Jesus, yep, yep, I mean, just, yep. just lack of timing yep. and disruption. You know, just the now, worst, and she man. just and at the end of the day, man, you know what she just did? Well, you know what you just did? You just canceled out the bit. Oh, and, I, and then that was Anna's bit. No! Like that was that was Anna's that was Anna's I segment. I want to hear more of RFK that, Junior. That was her segment. She's the one that brought that segment, I'm and you ca- and you, an and I just I'll completely ruined it. it. I and apologize, you did. Anna. That's okay. That's what I'm here for. Damn, Lummy, uh, a couple breaks ago, you were supposed to give me the totals. Do you have them? Uh, yes. No mind. Get, just give num nuts another another minus. Not minus for today. We have Lummy and Anna even. Rhett minus three and Macho minus four. Would you happen? Would it be just absolutely mind boggling if I ask you if you knew what the year to date were? No, I got that. No, look at you face me. You just faced me. This is because I, I usually, like I said, in case he gets positive, so I leave those off. So as of yesterday. Uh, macho plus seven, Lummy plus six. Is Jay, that including today? No, I don't put today's because then okay, I would have to well change then, it. Uh, do you want this week's No, then? no, no. We just because usually if, if like uh, Rhett maybe somehow gets a plus, I know you got to keep them open, don't you? Yeah, you got to keep. Say, Until the end I, of the show. Say I have to keep the accounts open. I have to keep. Boss. The, I have he to must. keep the. Uh, I have open. to keep the accounts open, boss, in order to, to make this make believe plus and minus world that you live in work. Yes. Your psychotic old man. Psychotic oh, old man. Hey. Patty. I'm self protecting. Can we uh I didn't are, mean that. are we gonna do Alex next? Yes, we are. Fantastic. Let's do that. Find a safe place and stay there. Before horsemen of the apocalypse asked him for advice. Oh god. Bubba the love sponge. Somebody's gonna have to get me signed on to Zizoom. Yeah, Macho's coming in right now. 
is macho. Hopefully he doesn't forget to hit the bell. There's the dog. I think I deserve some pluses for the FedEx of the photos. Yeah. Oh, getting the photos in? Yeah, we're, we're pretty much all. all back in, back I got back, the last batch in. Waiting for a, a back, back and for back and for a fucking. <laughs> I mean, I, I, that's against the rules. Oh, is, it? is it? Yes. I'm going to have another one. Oh, macho. There he is. Who's <clears throat> your name? Dan's not going to come tomorrow, right? No. Because he's going to the shore. Going to the shore. Going to the shore. Split us. That's kind of cool. Going to the shore. I guess it's because of the new computer. Oh, it's snowing. We're connected and he's got an empty chair. so sad. There it is. Microphone check. So many tears. It looks good. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, get oh, God. No. If you can hear me, there's a full screen on the Zoom so we don't have to do this split screen jobby. All of them are? The ones you said so far. 30. Oh. 30 of them. They look good as fuck. Yeah. I mean, I split them up so they'll, they'll rotate in with everything else, but there's, there's three batches of them. Three batches of ten. I'm going to send you some more too. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'll just keep using this template because it's, it's working best. Oh yeah, that'd be great. We can just keep adding to it and adding to it, which will make the rotation go better. Mm -hmm. 
Need some cat photos. Need some what? Some kit, kitty photos. They said it on the air, right? Ew. No, I, I, mean, I mean, I mean, we don't, we don't, we don't have any kitty bubble years. army. I'm looking for like big cats. Big, big cats. Like I pop in when I can. Sphinx. Sphinx. Well, Sphinx. Sphinx. Uh, <laughs> and it was after I said you and Goofy left the whole thing, and I even said you during that last phone call. Red Farm John's Island, 50 on the Venmo. Thank you, Red Farm John's Island. for interrupting your regular program. Yo, 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 power break. Oh. Should hit these horses with everything we got, sir. Living vicariously through his bizarre, bizarre world. world. Imagine how much protein's in my body. This is the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Uh, Lum, I think we got uh, one of my best friends in the entire world. Alex Stein, standing by. Yeah, the great I, Alex I know Stein. that he probably watches me as I get ready for the show and as the bumpers are coming through and we know we're getting ready to go live you see my little idiosyncrasies and how i get ready and then boom i just turn on the charm smooth and silk i'm sure that he sees all that because he's a student of the game he is my friend hello hello alex i am a student of the game and i can tell I, it seems like you're on a, a little you're kind of on the edge today a little i saw you, you got a little trigger happy with Rhett right there is well Rhett's, okay? Rhett's real true yeah he's just he's a rook you know he's a rook He's that guy that's a fourth rounder that, you know, is going to be a special teams player for the first couple of years, but he might come into it. You know what I'm saying? He certainly he certainly needs to be on the on the roster and he's not even on the practice squad. He's not he's not even on the practice squad, but he's special teams. He's a project nonetheless. Let me meanwhile, you know, he's my starting left tackle, Anna's my starting wide out. You know, Dr. Dan's my uh my my, you know, what can Dan be? My my running back, my my, my, run, my, running my, back. my running back. Yeah, you know, ma- Macho Man. He is the um the the ball boy, <clears throat> kind of. <laughs> and 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 Rhett is on the practice squad. He might make the team. Comes up uh, every I, once in a while. Listen, do you think? I'm do you think? Even... Do you think Rhett's practice squad or special teams? Well, I'd like to answer this question because I was just watching one of Rhett's clips about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and honestly, he's a, it was very well done, very professional. Oh, you're well talking? Spoken. No, hold on, you're talking about Rhett's show. No, 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 we're talking about Rhett's appearances. I know we're on talking iPod. about your Two show, different things. of course. Of course, Rhett's well, going to be. Course, straight but I'm my... saying those yeah. those skills are applicable. If I said that right, for your show as well, no. because it shows that he can edit, no, no, he no. can voice over, he can do a lot, the clips. Alex, of thank the... you. No, not. But we're talking about two different worlds. Him, what he can do, you know, uh, 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 what he can do off air here is very valuable. He's very irre- I'm like, I mean, I absolutely need him. He's the best. At, like, I would never not want him. But as we try to triculate him into the program, he's just a little, you know, he was just initially just a video guy. And when, and, and his first time he, he was here, let's just be honest, he was kind of a dick. Like, he was kind of a dick. Like, he'll tell you that. Well. For, I mean, Red, the, the first time you were here, you're kind of, a, you kind of had a chip on your shoulder. Did yeah. you not? Yeah. I mean, a little sensitive. For, yeah, like he didn't quite understand our dynamic. You know how we're always making fun of each other, and you know, like mm-hmm. understanding our little, you know, cynical world that we live you in. Know, our social credit system. Yeah, and yes. so <laughs> he, he he quit. He quit. Plus, he smoked cigarettes back then. I don't. I was I was kind of mean to him. I, I kind of ran him off. I don't know if I ran him off, but I didn't like him. I didn't like him. <laughs> I was like Rhett always him. ripping cigarettes just constantly? Yeah, he's smoking. a big yeah. smoker. Yeah. Yeah. Even heaters, Alex, dude. Alex knew that he's a smoker. But, I, you know, just like, I don't know, I just, just I don't know. He was just really gingered out, and he was just like, <laughs> you know, and he's just like, 
he didn't really have, he was kind of had a chip on his shoulder. And I'm like, bitch, what do you got? I'm Bubba the Love Sponge. You're some jobber that just came from Cox, got fired from Cox or quit Cox or whatever. Some big don't bust me up corporate big ass radio company. And you're coming into my place trying to act like you're all that and stuff. Bitch, I'm Bubba the Love Sponge. I got my own studios, my own distribution platform. I am far bigger from what you came from. And you're giving me an attitude. I'm the all time. I'm the Tom Brady of Tampa Radio. I'm the all time greatest. I'm the all time ra- greatest ever to come from Tampa, Florida. And I got this little snotty nosed bitch kind of being a little bitch to me. So we kind of clashed at first. So then he comes back a second time and he's completely different. He's super chill. He's cool as hell. I find myself liking him. I was then, t- then told that he didn't smoke cigarettes back then. I was confusing that with weed, which then that kind of gives it, then that kind of gives it a cool factor because I think it was kind of be kind of cool if he went out back during the show and got high. Like I think that's cool. You know, I yeah, really that do. Is cool. Smoke a joint, you're great. Smoke a Newport, you're fired. Right. You know, like I'm just saying. And then I'm like, you know what? We kind of hang out a little bit. I kind of, you know, and he's getting. You know, we have we had we had a little bit of an engineering change with Blitz leaving and stuff, and he kind of stepped You're up. Both there. dog owners. He, he kind of stepped up there on the on, te- on the technical side of things, and then uh, he starts. You know, we every once in a while we kind of turn his mic on to get some advice, and then he starts trickulating it in more and more. So he touches co- wiener. Yeah, yeah, I mean, dog. You know, yeah, and, and he brings his dog to work, and we don't care. Like you know, now now he's kind of cool. Now, but you know, now he's kind of cool, and he's so damn cool that he's trickulated himself on the show. But I mean, but, 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 but but it's I'm, tough love, man. I'm I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and I'm I'm, I'm going to discipline him when he makes mistakes. He's going to get you know he's going to get disciplined. Bad boy. I run a tight well, ship. I, I, mean, I run a tight ship around here, Alex Stein, bitch. Unlike you. I don't wanna- you don't it's run making me mad. Ship. No, he doesn't. Oh yeah, you know I run the loosest Titanic uh, ocean gate. Yeah, about uh, as tight as about, about as tight as, your, I... about as tight as your protective. The way you're supposed to put your gloves together to protect your face so you don't get your brains bashed in. You have the worst boxing stance and skills I've ever seen. <laughs> You're talking about me? Did you watch my latest yes. sparring? Yeah, and, I did yeah. yesterday when you were that's supposed only to. About, yesterday when you were supposed 50%. to be on the show. Yeah, there was a scheduling conflict. Yeah, that I, got I was it. supposed to be on Shuli's show Tuesday. Then they canceled me on Monday, and then I forgot this. Sh- I said, "Oh, I can do it Wednesday," not even realizing that we do this show every Wednesday. So it was just kind of. Hold on, you kicked me off for the Shuli show. Come on, Stein. It was an You don't realize in the overall global all scheme of 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 of, of <laughs> you're putting not, me. Hold on, I got canceled that. for it's I got canceled for Shuli. I got canceled for Shuli. Even like I, that? Are you it kidding me? It's not a canceled. We had to reschedule. It's different because trust me, I get canceled on by politicians no, you and then should I get rescheduled. Said, you should a say, reschedule is different than a cancel. Listen, so listen, let's, let's just be very clear I have, about that. I, I have a standing Wednesday 915 gimmick with you. You know that. We've been doing that fairly yes. consistent, okay? Yeah, so yes. I should less, you know, a Glenn Beck or like Tucker or some big, big shows that would request you at, you know, 915 my time on a Wednesday, I should be the priority. And so when Shuli says, I can't, I need 915 or whatever, however, I got knocked out of my 915 ish yesterday, whoever <laughs> did, if it was Shuli, if it it was surely I am going to I'm going to beat your ass oh. more than that guy that's already going to beat your stupid geek nerd ass. You son well, first, of a bitch. First of all, we talked about you a lot. We spoke very. So it happened. He about. did. He did. Oh he my did. Gosh. He. I should hang up on him right now. Bubba, it's that makes. I mean, we got real heat. Bubba, we got real heat. We got real heat. How do I end this? I don't know how to allow this. I'm just. I, I ended it. That's. We got real heat. Did you just hang up on? Him? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, oh. We he, thought. We thought he was out. sad over losing Done. his girlfriend. Out. Done. Done. We're done. Oh no. That we're done. You have no respect for me. You have no respect for me. Is it because he put me over? I'm sorry. No, it wasn't. A, no, it was the fact that he he picked, and then I even gave him a chance to maybe get out of it, Lummy. And, and he's like, "Yeah, I did the Shuli show yesterday at nine fifteen. I did. I bumped you, Baba. 
for shoot. Now, if I get bumped for Joe Rogan or Ben Shapiro or like anybody that's that's got a bigger father, yeah, Bongino, like Gino, oh, Steve Crowder, yeah. Just, yeah, Alex Jones, like yeah. I get it. Or you know, you're at a convention and right at nine fifteen is you have to go in and make the big, you know, like like you're traveling or you know. But if I'm bona finally getting getting rescheduled and bumped for a lesser i mean now i love sh- listen let's let's nobody nobody take this the wrong way in the fact that i have a i have no problems with shuley i love shuley i love shuley to death on the show you went to go see him it, it, do yeah, stand up at side I, I, I i've been to side splitters one time and i've seen one guy there and shuley is the only person i've ever seen there now ron white happened to make a little uh, cameo yeah just because he was practicing on his new stuff and Love i didn't him. even know that how that how that world works but now i do and i find it fascinating that like a comedian will go to oh, a, yeah. to a littler town and get you know this big like big comedian that's where they get the reps <clears throat> big big comedian Dave like, does that all the time and, so you know and, he, and here's these little you know these real little places that have like four and five hundred seat venues you know and oh less than that yeah and that but they they can't they can't advertise it no so like you know, Ron White would say, "Be like, listen, you know what? I'd like to go up there and do like uh, you know, twenty minutes. I'm work. I'm working on a new tour, and I'm trying that. And so they go, and he'll do go twenty, do twenty minutes uh, to a very small crowd, and then uh, I think on it, they kind of hone in. They do it like ten, fif- get reps, ten, fifteen, material. ten, fifteen times, and they take out and add stuff mm-hmm. like, oh, that one didn't do too work good. Work on their timing. Right. Now, did Ron White come on before Shuli? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah he, right he, he, brought, he brought Shuley on. That's so, like, crazy. He, that's kind of even jobbing themselves out. Like, a lot of them be like, listen, can I do it after the, your main guy is gone? That um, would suck if you're going after Tron. Yeah, I mean, so you're Shuley and you're kind of mid, you know, you're mid card, Willie. You, mm-hmm. you know, you're not the upper, you're, you're the mid card, mid to lower card stand up comedian roster deal. You are. You're not a Bill Burr. You know, but you know, Ron White certainly is up there in the big in the big category. I would say he's top tier comedians in the comedian world. He's not sure. like on the level of Dave Chappelle or no. Kevin Hart or anything. But but again, as far there's as only and go, there's he's, only he's top tier. And on that top on that top of tier that you said, there's only a handful of those. Oh yeah, you know. But there, so then there's the next tier down, which is the Ron Whites, and there's mm-hmm. a lot of those. Um, and mm-hmm. so he's in that. He's a very, very respective. You know, he'll I mean, that blue com- comedy tour was one of the biggest yeah, I mean, tours he, for a while. Mm-hmm. Ron White was part of you know that were selling out you know basketball arenas. Yeah, they were selling out arenas as yeah. part of that deal. So he comes up and and he's he does twenty minutes before Shuley. What were, was it? Pretty good. Oh, it was it it's was really great. And then he and then he he actually though the one of the cool things about it on it is he would he let the crowd in on what he's doing. So he was like, "Hey, I just want to let you know. I don't know if you know how it works or not." So he kind of gave you like a, you felt like you're doing pull the curtain back a little bit. Yeah, and it kind of made you pull for him too more. You know what I'm saying? It makes him more likable. And, it's a it's a brilliant. Yeah. It's, it's a kind of a brilliant technique. Primes because, the audience to laugh. It, and, well, it also primes them to be like, you know, when something sucks, you know, be a little easy on me here because I'm just trying it out, right? right like right. I'm practicing. It makes you more more likable. I think that makes people more right. primed to laugh. You know, that'd be like, let me. If you were, what would be cooler? Than being able to go like if you are a big uh, a, a Buccaneer fan, yeah, and you got the ability to go to practice and embed yourself like with the coaches. Oh, it'd be the and, best, you know. So it's almost like that you being you're getting to see pull the curtain back a little bit as to how the process works. So Ron White goes, "Hey, I just want to let you know, man. A lot of times when us uh, bigger comedians are trying to work on a tour or something like that, we got like you know a fifteen twenty set date you know major cities major arenas we'll come to mom and pop little clubs like this and start working on our on our routine and we got it by the time it's, we, we play our gig you know we I've, I've i've done 10 15 little small mom and pop deals so uh, i'm just working on some material tonight so uh let, let me go ahead and start talking at you and and, and so he kind of let you in on what he was doing mm-hmm. and it kind of gave you a little inside deal yeah which is kind of cool it oh was. yeah so I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, Shuli, you like Shuli? Yeah. So Shuli, I've been, I've seen Shuli. I like Shuli. This has nothing to do with Shuli. What this has to do with is about respect, and in the overall radio world, in the overall impression world, in the overall digital currency world, in the overall total followers world, in the overall, I don't know, legendary status of radio. People, uh, 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 category. 
I Trump truly, I truly Trump surely, and uh, boy, that's a, that's a, that's you a, Trump no, truly no, that, Trump truly. That's a, that, that's a, that's a one. truly Trump surely. That that's a tongue, tongue twister. Yeah, I truly top surely, truly in every way. Yeah, and you bump me for him. May you I didn't, you didn't offer... have the balls to tell surely, surely. I'm sorry that you can't work it out, but I got a standing Bubba show every 9.15 on Wednesday that I simply can't miss. Now, you know, people that Man. are bigger than me, you tell me, hey, Bubba, and, and Lummy, Lummy, we've had some cancellations from him, have we not? Yes, we have. And it's not a big deal because it's been a, a worthy cause or he was traveling or, you know, something like that. Yes. But yeah. never, never I, b- have I been jobbed. It's, I mean, Wait, is, that, is that a Can no? I hold on, but is that a lummy? Is that not a job? That's, Did we not just get jobs? We got jobs on our, job. our every Wednesday you, show. You, 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 you know what? Job. You jobbed me, and I am one of the great. I am in the. I am one of the greatest of all time, and you jobbed me. Can I get in here for a second? Yeah, and then we're going into words. Lummy, when you reminded him or asked him about it on Wednesday, did he seem surprised or did he he go, oh, uh, listen, I can't do it today? But or was he like, oh, s, I forgot. By the way, great question because there's a lot riding on this. Yeah. So great, you know what? Give Anna a plus one for Woo! a really gosh darn good question, and that wasn't a GD. Go ahead. Um, Did you give her a plus one? Yeah, I'm doing that. No, right answer now. the question. Uh, he and act- answer it honestly. I am. He, well, he just sent me a text, uh, he, but he did. He he did act surprised, like he forgot. Um, I, f- I figured he just had some other things going on, especially with. Well, the, then see, then we're not. A, then, then then we're not as special as we thought because we thought that you know we we are excited and we always anticipate the nine fifteen Alex Stein Wednesday call like that's on our calendar. Because that's we, thing, we, like, that we oh, yeah. I mean, like that, that's that's been our standing calendar. Can I read a statement for about seven to eight well, weeks? Who, who notified who first on Wednesday? Oh, I text him always. Can I read a oh, statement? Okay. He wants to make a statement about this breakup. Screw you. Go ahead, tell me a statement. <laughs> I was supposed to go on Truly's Tuesday, then we rescheduled on Monday, and I should have said I can come on Thursday, but I forgot about Wednesday, so I didn't want to keep changing with them because I didn't want Truly to think I was a dick. Mm-hmm. Worrying more about what Shuley feels than me. I mean, I, I mean, a bitch. Also, I don't care how you. I don't care how you split. His conversation right now, that's the true meaning. Whether well, you like me or not. He's saying, Anna, I think I'd rather be it. I'd rather I'm more worried about pissing off Shuli than you. But I think making and, me Bubba, his bitch. Bubba. What? I think you're reading into this in the wrong way. Reading into it like a real man. Because in my mind, I would probably and I think we all do this take liberty with people we're closest with. So maybe we're more likely to blow off like a parent. Like my mom or my Nobody dad or my best friend. Nobody blows me off. Versus like someone <laughs> new, you know, no. because you're like, my dad will understand. My best friend will understand. But this new person may mm-hmm. not. That's the, you know what? That's the stupid little soft ass snowflake and having you been know, raised. You know you're right. Being raised in San Diego, California. Yeah. I'm not, a liberal snowflake. Yeah. Not yeah. a rough guy. I'm, gonna tell you about rugged. A, I'm not rugged. Let me, let me tell you how a man interprets what happened. I just got jobbed for Shuley. Right. That's what That's happened. That's what happened. I'm so sorry. That's the bottom line. Love me, am I right or wrong? You are right, buddy. Find a safe place and stay there. The four horsemen of the apocalypse asked him for advice. Oh, God. Bubba the Love Sponge. Sharp. Yeah. Truly's barp. Yeah. You know? Fuck you, Alex. Don't you worry. Fuck, I hate you. Sorry, Alex. I tried, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Not that he's messaging me or anything, but that's how I read it. Hello, Dickhead. That's his name. Uh, Dickhead, I'm 
なんですよね Um, who's talking? Me, Lummy. What's your name? Lummy here. Lummy here. Hey, Lummy. Put your three fingers up so that what you tell me is the truth. What is? What do you got? You still have to do a super beat since that's third talk. Oh shit! Can we do best third talk on that? Okay. Can I put my three fingers down. Yes, you really can. Thank you. Thank you so much for you got you. Know, let me give yourself a fucking point, please. Yeah. Give Give it to me one right now. I'm giving it to me right now. Super beats. Like, hey, oh. super beats into a best third closeout. Okay. Sounds good. And I'm getting full hot on Chuli. You mean on Alex? And Alex. You can't, you can't get mad. Well, man, we need to fucking tweet something right now. In fact, I'm gonna make this part of the segment too. I'm gonna just tweet real quick. Um, hey Alex, I fucking hate you and God. I might say, you know what, I'm going to save the fucking a Alex Shuley talk for the after show. Perfect. Don't you think, Anna? Yeah. You talk like real men there. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm gonna fucking go, I'm gonna I'm gonna literally fuck I'm actually going the fuck off on him. I'm gonna go the fuck off on him. Like I'm gonna go the fuck off on him. Those stupid motherfucker not paying me. Fuck like and then, and surely then surely fucking you know like not not surely should have said no man don't fucking don't cancel Bubba. Do you think Alex mentioned that to him? I don't know. Yeah, find out. <clears throat> let, me get the, let me get the super beat stuff.
get down to business. If you were locked away in an insane asylum, maybe it's time you let me get on with my job. This is what it would sound like. Uh, I don't think that Americans would find that funny. No, it is not a joke. We now return to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Uh, Lummy, you know, there's a lot of people that try to live a heart-healthy lifestyle. And we all have a heartfelt reason to support our blood pressure. But and, and as a matter of fact, I think the statistics like over half of the U.S. Uh, population would benefit for some, from some type of blood pressure support. And Superbeat Heart Chews are an easy, convenient way to support a healthy blood pressure. Uh, and they promote uh, health, uh, heart healthy energy as well. Paired with a healthy lifestyle, the antioxidants in Super Beats are clinically shown to have nearly two times more effectiveness at promoting normal blood pressure than a heart healthy lifestyle alone. Right now, you can double your uh, potential with Super Beat Heart Chews and get a 30 day supply of Super Beats and uh, an additional 15%, and, a, and, a, and I'm sorry, and 15% off your first order. So. You get a 30-day supply for free and then 15% off your first order by going to GetSuperBeats.com. Promo code Bubba. Again, that's G-E-T, Super, B-E-E-T-S, GetSuperBeats.com. Promo code Bubba. We use them. We're we're actually getting low. So I need to get them. I'll get a hold of my Super Beats guy. Sweet. I got to get get a hold of my Super Beats guy. We need more. I, I got a guy. You got a guy? Um... Beth Stern at fifty. I think. The, I think. What are the headlines? I'm sorry. Head- yeah, her birthday is uh, in two Howard, days. Howard Stern's Beth, a wife's Beth's. I always mess her name up. Uh, just Stros- Ostrowski, I think it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, as Beth Beth uh, Ostrowski Stern, fifty sizzles in her bikini, sexy bikini photos, and she went on and did a great. Uh, did a uh, um, an interview slash cover of a thing called Social Life. And so there she is. Now, now, mind you, Beth is 50. She's a dime piece. And How tall is she, by the way? She's like six. Six feet? Yeah, she's like six, six, one. Wow. And I mean, you know, the, the, bigger, the bigger you are in size, the harder it is to look, you know, feminine and in shape and sexy. You know, it, it, it's five easy. 5'10". It, well, is she 5'10"? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like a five foot four girl like you, it, it's tough for Three. me. She's elongated and... Mm-hmm. But that also can be very sexy if you are in shape, and she legs. is in shape. Well, she was a model, so. Oh, yeah, she She's is so beautiful. Model. Oh, mm-hmm. she is so beautiful. And let me just tell you, she's beautiful, but she may even be more beautiful as a person than she is just on the outside. Obviously, she's very stunning on the outside, you know, as good as it gets. Mm-hmm. But her inside, as I've had, you know, <laughs> probably, no, but I mean, I've had probably four or five or six intimate, com- not intimate, but like, you know, personal, personal one, one-on-one conversations with her at, you know, whether at a restaurant or her wedding, her and Howard's wedding or my wedding. I've had an opportunity to talk to Beth privately, you know, four or five times. And she is just the nicest. The sweetest. She's yeah, from, what, I've she's, heard from a lot of people. She's actually. from Pittsburgh. So she's kind of Midwestern. Nice. Grew up a Steelers fan. And she's just, oh, Stern hit it. Not only did Stern hit, you know, the look deal, but like you genuinely got a, you know, like when, when most women look like that, Howard, you know, they're usually bitches. Yeah. I mean, for real, you know, it's just, just the way it is. It's the way life is. Mm-hmm. If you're going to look like Beth. You're probably going to be a bitch. But Beth is just as sw- just the Sweet nicest, pie. sweetest oh. animal, animal Good rescuing, loves, loves re- rescues animals, does charitable and philanthropic things, looks great, doesn't dabble in Howard's career. You know, does isn't that naggy ass wife? She's just cool, man. I think that she does uh, what Beth's furry friends. She's I d- does that in the North yeah, in the North Shore it. North Shore uh, oh. Animal League. Mm. So, uh, Howard, I don't know if this will get back to you or not, but God, I mean, you are. I I love your wife, and every time I get a card, it's, she always signs it too. It's All always right. it's always Howard and Beth personally signed, and it's just I just I just really appreciate that. I pre I appreciate that. I mean, because she's. I mean, when you're that big of a star, when you're Beth Stern, married obviously to Howard, who has made you a star, but you had your own thing going before him, mm-hmm. but you're a star. I mean, you know, being with Howard made you even a bigger star, but sure. you're a star 
and 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 you send me a birthday card still thinking about the little guy because I'm, I'm me and you and Howard I'm, what I represent in you and Howard's life is you know kind of the the trailer trash part of your life and you didn't forget about me you know that I'm a good person deep down and and you know that I'm talented and you know I've had a tough way and you've know I made some mistakes and you know you know that I've done some stupid things and a lot of people have and, we'll continue and a lot of people things. a lot of famous people have written me off but you didn't you didn't you still you still sent the christmas cards you still send me a birthday yeah, card she's classy like you guys are the epitome of class special oh so anyway okay all right so enough of that <laughs> enough of that i think it's time for us to get the hell out of here yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah Hit that button. I'll oh. tell you one thing right now. You might not want to miss this after show because I am full hot. I'm going to break this Alex Stein Shuley thing down right, right down to zero. And I'm not. And listen, I'm not taking. I, it, it, let me. I don't care if Alex texts you ten times. Please, please, let me have a rebuttal. Let me explain myself. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. No, bitch. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. No. No and no. And you're lucky I don't beat your ass. For real. And Shuli, you should know better. You should know better, Shuli. You should have more respect for me than that. Did he even know? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to get to the bottom of all of this, including, I mean, I swear to God, I know I, I may not be the toughest guy in the world, but I can beat Shuli's ass. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> and I can probably beat Alec after looking at his boxing style. I think I can beat the hell out of Alec Stein. He's a pussy and he's soft. Let me, I'm like, like a junkyard dog. You are. I'm like a junkyard dog. Bounce and he's like, it. you know, he's a little bigger, but he's like, you know, one of those poodle diddles. You know. <laughs> poodle diddles? Whatever. You know, those, yeah, poodle whatever, diddle. whatever a pussy dog would be is what he big. Yeah, they those big giant poodles, oh, the but they're but they're still poodles. Yeah, yeah, you're you, you might be bigger and taller than me, and I'm a pit bull, but you're a goddamn. There you go. I said it for the first time. I had to give you one. I am a junkyard dog. You know, full blown mutt, living on a you know living in the junkyard with a chain around my neck. I'll bite your ass, bitch. Nobody jobs me out like that. Have some respect to the business. Is there still any respect left in the business? Or is it just, you know, get what you can get? I better just be quiet, hadn't I? Because this is what I'm supposed to be spewing on the after show. That's right. YouTube and Facebook. We'll call it right at 1030. We'll see you there. <laughs> Thanks for letting me finish. You've been listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Starring me, Bubba the Love Sponge. Co-host and show historian, Lummox. Co-host, Anna Hummel. Co-host, Dr. Dan Diaco Esquire of Council. Co-host, J. Diaco Esquire, the Spitting Cobra of Council. Rhett, the Filthy Ginger video editor. Yeah, back here wearing shit up. It's Mini Macho. The BRN agent, Thomas Buttoned Up B. And for everything else, go to TheBubbaArmy.com. Now, time for the legal disclaimer. Exactly. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show is intended solely for the enjoyment of our listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this show without express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is prohibited. We must dissuade him of this delusion. <laughs> Until next time, always remember. I'll repeat hello. I'm back.